Hello Finley Fish. Hello, 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 hello. How's it going today, everybody? It is Nazan here with the Lean That Streams. And how are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a good Tuesday. It is the beginning of the week, but that's okay. We'll get to the weekend as soon as humanly possible. As soon as leamingly possible as well. How's it going, Finley? How are you doing? Um, anyway, yes, we are here today to play some Slay the Princess, which looks like a really interesting game. Um, I have never played it, but I've been I've had it on the radar for quite some time. Um, and it just is like a, it's kind of like a more of a, a, a kind of similar to what we were playing last week in terms that it is a visual novel style thing, but it has a very different premise. Oh, I don't know what's going on, on the screen. Oh my God. Uh, but it is a little bit more of a horror element type of thing. It's a really good visual novel. Great, great, great. I'm happy for that. Uh, we're going to see how far we get into it today. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, but, uh, just as a heads up tomorrow, we are going to be playing some sea of thieves with demon Hunter games and C James Fox. That should be really fun. I have not played much of it, but, uh, I did get to try a little bit of it. I think it's really fun. Uh, plus who doesn't want to be a pirate. That's going to be great. 
And then uh, we are going to be playing some more Final Fantasy X on Thursday and Saturday. But second half of Saturday is going to be some content warning with uh, Hi-Fi Wolf, 1UP Milo, and Akira Ochiba. It should be some good times. The Sea of Thieves. Ooh, yes, indeed. I am going to be a swashbuckling pirate. I'm going to shiver your timbers, probably. And that's the way it's going to be. So without too much ado, whether there or there, I'm going to get into this game because I want to see what this is all about. So I'll start over here. I don't know if we're going to stay here, but let's see what it does. Um, but do 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 get rid of that. Get rid of that. There it is. Ooh, beautiful. Very beautiful. I love the art style in this. It's got this like kind of sketchboard uh, kind of thing going on, which is really cool. So let's see what this is all about. New game. Here we go. Chapter one. Ow. The artwork in this game is gorgeous. It's good enough You're to make me want to play their the other woods. game. What is their other and game? At the oh. end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, I should be paying it's attention. Yes, it is. What is this? Ooh, history. Auto save preferences. Is this thing up all the way? Boil effects? What does that mean? On, on, on. Looks good. All right. Oh, Scarlet Hollow is another game by the Ooh, same developers. Scarlet Hollow. It's quite popular for its captivating storytelling and beautiful artwork. If you enjoy their style in this game, you'll likely appreciate Scarlet Hollow as well. All right. Thank you, Vryn, and thank you, Finley. Uh, let's see what this. We're on a path in the woods. I love how it's, like, dynamic like that. Cruxius, and hello. Why did it do? Cruxius 0102. There it is. Hello, hello. Andy. I like how it, um, I like the way it like moves around when you move your thing there. How cool is that? All right, let's see what You're we got here. here. To slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Uh oh. Oh. Explore. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Oh, uh, there's more. Wow, there's a lot of choices here. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Uh, have you considered? Oh my God, there's so many choices. That's a lot of choices. That. That's a lot of. That's a lot of choices. I don't know about that. Okay, that that's more choices than I was expecting. All right, let's see here. So. I'm guessing each one of these will lead me down different paths depending on which combination I choose, right? That seems to be uh, how these things tend to work. All right, let's take a look here. So the end of the world, what are you talking about? Okay, because she's locked up. That's a good point. You know, maybe that's why she wants to kill everyone is because we locked her in this place and that's not very nice. Uh, can someone else do this? Maybe. Uh, forget it. I'm not doing this. Oh, my. Uh, have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Maybe you are. Uh, do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet. Wow, I lost some sperber her. Lurk, I have fun with this. It's a unique visual novel. You'll find, uh, you'll find out why very quickly. Don't fret too much. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, okay, okay. Don't, thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I've wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution. Uh, silently continue. Turn around and leave. So I got a lot of options. I think what we're going to do is we're going to just start with the inquisitive route and see what that looks I'm like. talking about the end of everything as we know it. Mm -hmm, no mm -hmm. more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. Well, that that we could be a problem. An end to her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You have to put an end to her. But I... Oh. But how can a princess be locked away in a basement at the end of the world? I don't know. 
If you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not going to kill her. Uh, do you have any evidence to back this up? That sounds like me. Have you considered that maybe the only reason... Okay, so there is some things that are uh, considered or reused here. Uh, do I get some sort of reward? Look, I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to her. And if she's had a, uh, if she's as bad as you say, then maybe I'll slay her. I'm not committing to anything until I've had a chance to meet her face to face. Ah, uh, okay. I'm told let's, uh, okay. I'm sold. Oh man. Okay. Uh, okay. So I got to start picking things. What I'm going to do is explore if you don't i'm gonna do this because if you don't tell me why i'm not gonna kill her she's not dangerous she's just a princess got it the danger comes if she gets out hmm. which she will unless you do something about it okay uh still don't buy it but sure uh what happens if we if she gets out then i want specifics uh do you have any evidence to back this up i'm gonna go that wait have you considered that maybe Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? Maybe I like hiking. Far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Did you think of that? Maybe I enjoy hiking. Have you thought of that? Huh? I don't hear you talking about how I might just be an avid hiker of some sort. Okay, what happens if she gets out then? I want specifics. Um, have you considered blah, blah, blah. It, it is a lot of the same stuff. All right. Um, I don't know if like doing too much of one thing could be bad, but I want this one. The more specifics you have, the harder it will be for you to do this very important job. She's well, a princess. People will listen to her because listening to her is in their nature. And when they do, everything will come crashing down. All righty. I don't know about that. Where's my mouse? There it is. Hmm. Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Can't somebody else do this? Forget this. I'm not doing this. Uh, have you considered that maybe I'm okay with ending the world? Do we get some sort of reward? Okay. I'm going to go with this one, because I think we've done a lot of exploring. He's not going to tell me anymore. What happens, but... A word of warning. Uh huh. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. Fair. The more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Alrighty. Well, I accept your uh, statement, but I don't. I don't actually accept it. Then each and every one of us oh, is doomed. I didn't mean anything. So sure. Go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. All right, will do. I'm going to go talk to this girl. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. All righty. Uh, let me move this up a little bit there. There we go. Okay, so I need to go see what this princess is all about. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Well. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Isn't that me? Aren't I the hero? Proceed into the cabin. Okay, here we go. The interior of the cabin is almost That's good. Blade is your Oops. implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. All right, so can I look around at stuff? Explore, take the blade. Okay. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. True. But also, let me take care of something real quick. Okay. I don't know about this. Some seem suspicious. Some don't smell right about this. Some don't smell the right. The basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room mm -hmm. below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. Right. If the princess really lives here. Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Well, I don't know about that. 
I don't know about that, but... Her voice carries up the stairs. Uh-oh. Who's there? That, uh, me. Uh, me, I'm, I'm here. Uh, me, the Leem. Uh, maybe you've heard of me. Uh, maybe, probably not, but maybe you have. If you have, then I'm sorry. Uh, really, not really looking to murder you, but I'm told that I have to, and I don't have much of a choice. So, you know. She sounds dangerous. Uh oh, so does she? She's the one in charge down here. Danger, Will Robertson, danger! Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. All right. Hi. <laughs> I used to be like, hi. It's like a. It's like when you get a telegram or some sort of text message, and you're like, who is this? What do you want? They're just like, hi. Just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> I kind of want to do that one just to see what it does. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to say hi to you. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You know, that's overrated. So I'm not too concerned about it. You hi. Walk down the stairs. Mm -hmm. That's me. Eyes with the princess. Hi. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Well, listen. I think that this is we got off on the wrong foot. Probably. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? It sounds like it. It sounds like she might be. Maybe. Focus on the task at hand. Okay. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. No, I might have been. You don't know that. I could have been making a funny, funny joke right now. You know? Could have been a real funny joke that you didn't know about until I entered here. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it is. And if you believe it is, then I believe it is. See, it's basically just a... Yeah, see? Big, big, funny joke. Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Uh, what? No way. Why would you even think that? Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I haven't decided yet. I'm here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. What? I'm going to do this one because that's funny to me. That giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Well, listen, all I'm saying is that this knife, I like cheese. Maybe you like cheese? Do you like cheese? Are you a big fan of cheese? Okay. The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Don't you dare. I'm having. A, am I am I talking to myself when I do that? Is that me chatting to myself right now? It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. No, no, you're right. It definitely wouldn't be. All right. Uh, my name is uh, Nazan. What's yours? Tighten your grip. Okay. Uh... This is really cool because I really like how ominous this is. Are, are you either of them or neither? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. I'm going to drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor. I'm sure that was a good idea. 100% good idea. Uh, drops the floor. Okay. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Yeah, that that's what I want. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess. You got face -face. real big eyes. Unarmed. Yep, that's me. We'll be fine. We're going to be just fine. There's nothing to worry about here. Nothing at all. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Okay. So here we are. 
What an awkward start to a relationship. Are we dating now? Because I didn't realize that. Is that how you start off all your relationships? <laughs> Chained to a wall? <laughs> and being like, hi, and people bringing knives to you? Oh. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? Uh, how would you get it? How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. Uh, there's people out here who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name? I should start. You know, that seems like a good way to start off a conversation. How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Okay, we've died enough. I'm going to start off with some pleasantries. She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Okay, but I was really just asking for your name. Uh, but that's okay. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Yeah, okay. Are you coming on to me? Uh, I'm supposed to... There's people out to think... What are you, you going to say about that? I'm going to do that one. Don't just tell her that. Well, I think she knows if she's chained to a wall... <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. You think? Okay, that is a bit of an ominous statement. I'm not sure what to make I of that. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. Okay. I've been down here a long time. Great. Not great. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? No, the guy is being very vague about that, actually. Uh, deflect. Jedediah, what's going on? Hey, Bean, it's been a while. It has been a while. Hope you're doing well. How are you today? Uh, I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me, but I'm not sure they have their reasons for keeping the information secret from me. No, and if I'm honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I am inclined to trust them. I don't know about any of that. Uh, I'm doing very well. That's good to hear. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, I was hoping you'd tell me. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. Fair. I believe her. Do you? Do any of us believe anyone... Is, can you just believe people like that? I don't know. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. Fair. Wait, where's my mouse? There it is. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Well... Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world. But they didn't tell you No! Why. Well, thank you so much for the bits. bits. I appreciate it. Should I slay the princess? What do you think? She seems nice. Maybe. We don't know. Could be anything. Uh, but they didn't tell you why. They didn't. They actually did not. That Ow! Sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. Well, we don't know that. Also, you're chained to a wall. I'm pretty sure there's a reason they did that. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. Mm-hmm. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a Whoa. life in the world. Whoa, that scared me. That <laughs> is proud to support an ongoing donation drive right here on Twitch for the Lima Conservation Foundation. If you want to support the stream in an Things awesome that I'm sure you way, think you want to hear. Check it out. To learn more, check out the link in chat at thelimareserve.org. All righty. Um... Let's see. Woods that or I'd open an orphanage or that I do another emperor, number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? Not really, no. possibly be worth in a situation like this. I don't know. She's right about one thing. Maybe. Her word isn't worth anything. That's pretty harsh. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. Okay. Well, you're not... You're not instilling much of that with me right now, so I'm just gonna put so that out there. Trust me, mm. the prisoner, the victim, 
the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. Okay, a relationship. Are you coming on to me? Uh, how would you? How would I get you out of there? How long have you been down here? Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Too long. That is not a great. You need. Listen, help me help you. Okay, I'm trying to instill trust, get these blind trust things going, and you're not answering any question. Okay. Uh, let me try this one. Let's see. Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. All right, that's fair. But I was trying to lighten the mood a little bit, so. Okay, <laughs> how would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. Why? I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. What do you mean by that? Do you mean I should kill you or should I cut your arm off? That would be kind of kind of bad. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think. She's no, I I very much think right. she is. She is. I'm sure of it. Pretty sure I'm sure of it too. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? Uh, maybe. You know why you're here. I don't know that. You just said it outside of the cabin, and I'm supposed to just believe you? Who the hell are you? And why am I talking to myself? This is Lay the Princess. I'm getting out of your exam of the chains. I'm going to keep uh, you locked away down here at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Keep her locked away. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet because we haven't really built that, so I'm gonna go here. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of He here. just said that. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. Okay. That, this uh, font slash red letters is not making me feel any better about this. And if you don't... Mm-hmm. I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Okay, I am already regretting this decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Okay, let's get you out of here. <laughs> uh, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. A uh, slay the princess. Okay, let's get you out of here. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to try the let's get you out of here thing first. I'm going to try and free her because I'm a nice, I'm a nice lame, guys. Guys, I'm a real nice lame. This is, this is me being nice right now, okay? And I'm going to do the nice right thing. Oh my Jedediah goodness, Jedediah, thank you so much you for the subscription. Tested. I appreciate Apparently, it. Apparently, it's my four-month anniversary. I done a rolling on the floor laughing. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm glad to hear it, and thank you so much for that again. Uh, appreciate that very, very much. The support is always appreciated. So I'm going to let her out. Please don't kill me. I would much prefer you do not kill me. Okay. All right. Oh, for the love of... Good. I'm glad you've come to your senses. I don't have any senses, lady. You're making a huge mistake. Probably. No, you're doing the right thing. Probably. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. I feel like that was a bad move because if I could do that, she probably could. I love the style of this game. It's quite nostalgic. It's very, really cool art style, like the whole sketchy look. And I love the way like the, the things move around when you like move your mouse and stuff. It's really cool. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Okay. If you don't have the key, Maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. Probably. I was just up there, though, and all I saw was a knife. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. 
they wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. You don't know that. Also, probably. And if there isn't keys, do you have any ideas besides cutting you out of here? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key is lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. That seems like a reasonable response. I'll be here. I'm sure you will. Don't go anywhere. Bye. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. What you the hell? The of a lock sliding into what? place. Is someone else here? Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, that's not good. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. That don't seem fair. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. I'll All right. myself once again. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Okay. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. I feel like you're less... Tr I feel like the narrator is less trustworthy than anything else in this game so far. Easier for whom? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Easier for everyone. Hi again. Slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yeah, but they didn't do chain me, so I'm still a leg ahead of you, okay? So... The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. That sounds painful. You seem really calm about that. You won't like what happens if you do that. I won't like it because it sounds horrible. Wait, save the princess, slay the princess. All right, I'm going to stick with the save the princess thing for now. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah! Massive. No! <laughs> no! Oh, why are you so calm about this? Do you cut. Ah! Oh my God! Wound, You're so calm about like what the hell is going on? No! The bleeding stuff Maybe it's about the struggles the of being a sneaky, screaming critter in the night, or a tomb for uh, uh, Oh my Scream God! Oh my then God! She didn't so much as utter a sound. Oh my God! Oh my God! Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How are you okay with that? That I'm now I'm starting to think that this was a bad idea. I'm starting to think this might have been a bad idea. How is she so composed after losing an arm? That's what I was just asking. I, even bothered by it. I was just asking that. I don't know if you noticed that. Mm. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. You sure you don't want to cover that up or like wrap something around that or like pretend to be in pain at all? Uh, no, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't okay. just let her escape into the world. Well, I did, so I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess oh. approaches the bottom stair, what is with my arm? Steps forward and raises the blade. Your body's what is with my arm? What the hell is that? Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. I have weird hands. I have claws. I have, like, foliage on my arms. I have scales. Mmm. I well, that's not fair. Uh, that isn't fair at all. I don't, I don't feel good about this at all. What the hell is going on? The, the, what the... This is, uh, this is a, uh, the problem. Uh, I'm going to pick random one. You bring oh. the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. Okay. There's no going back now. Well, maybe, but why do I look like this? Though the blade left a deep gash in her shoulder, she barely so much as flinches. Well, did you see what she did to her own arm? Incredulously. There's no wonder she didn't feel it. 
Are you serious? I had nothing to do with it. It was the narrator. Can't you hear him? I hear him all the time. All the time. I don't know what came over you, but if we're doing this, I guess I'll have to kill you. You don't have to. You don't have to. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? I can beat you to death with one. Okay, but that sounds bad. But I don't have to tell you that. I'll go ahead and show you. Well, don't be too hasty. Uh, 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 I'm gonna, okay, it's too late now. Thank you. You swing your arm towards her throat, the blade singing through the air. But she's ready for it. She grabs your arm, her grip like a stone vice. Okay, that's good. Oh, no. Well. She lets go, and faster than you can react, rears mm. back and hits you with a bone-shattering haymaker. Oh. There's a ringing in your ears. You're fairly certain you can feel bone grinding against bone where she fractured your jaw, but your body isn't allowing you to feel much right now. Adrenaline coursing through your system and numbing your nerves. Well, that's... this is bad. You uh, your hi. You're barely able to bring your trembling arms up to defend yourself before she hits you again. Every oh. blow is as punishing as the first. Oh, okay. Your bones shatter with every impact. Unknown ruptures blossoming with blood somewhere inside. Of this is this is not good. This didn't go well. Poor thing. I'll go ahead and put you out of your misery. Okay, thanks. I guess. She places a confident heel on your chest and pushes you down to the ground. Her knee falls to your throat, your windpipe crushed beneath a weight you didn't think her slight form could possibly possess. No. This is bad. This is all bad. It can't just end like this. Apparently it can. Apparently it very much can. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. Okay. Well... I'm dead, you guys. <laughs> that didn't go well for me. The tower? What the hell? You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. Wait, what the hell? And in the <laughs> GG, I cabin guess. Is a princess. Okay. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay. This one looks a little different. Oh. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this happened already? Okay, no. But I died. What am I doing here? Uh, I'm gonna go with that. I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to stay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. Well, no, I mean, I, I tried... If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. No, I kind of do remember because I said I died. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Well, apparently it's really hard to keep secrets from all of us because we can all hear each other. What does it matter what he knows? There's nothing we can do to stop her. She's just going to kill us again. The voice of the broken? That's different. She is not going to kill you unless you let her. But slaying the princess and saving the world is going to be much more difficult than it has to be if you spend the whole time second-guessing yourself. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this is really did just happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but true. Fine. He's no, that's that is true. To get you moving. Okay, thanks, I Let's guess. Say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me or, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Uh, I mean, true, except for when I was going to let her go and then you decided to take over. That was on you. Of course we died. She didn't feel pain. She didn't feel much of anything, did she? And she broke every bone in our body before she decided to let us die. What were we supposed to do to stop her then? What are we supposed to do to stop her now? It's pointless. Okay. She's just a princess. True. Slaying her shouldn't have been difficult, but congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. 
And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. I'm guessing they did. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. The princess killed us and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? That is an interesting question. I don't know. I'm gonna play it off as that none of this ever happened. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Probably bad things. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Well, we don't know do you that. Think that. The princess left unhindered. Brought we back don't the end know. There's everything. no way for us Just to know. There literally is no way for us to know. Literally none. If she ended the entire world, why should we even bother? We might as well just walk up to that cabin, break her chains, and let her do whatever she wants. It's all the same in the end. Just because she's capable of ending the world doesn't mean you're not capable of slaying her. Both of those things can be true at the same time. So chin up. I believe in you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm gonna say it. Probably wouldn't. Alright, explore. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. I can't be quick about anything. She killed me last time around. How can I make sure that doesn't happen again? All, all she did last time was beat me to death. How can someone like that end the world? To quote you from last time, she's just a princess. Why was she uh, strong enough to beat me to death with her bare hands? Uh, yeah. She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin and you'll be fine. But that doesn't make any sense. If you're saying that she's just a princess and none of that happened and none of it matters, then if she gets out, then she's still just a princess. She can't do nothing. But she can because you keep saying she will. Or we could pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending that we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. Okay, mopey version of me over here is kind of annoying, so I'm just going to put that out there. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? I agree. To put that one, this is the one time. Oh, no, it's Hero. I thought that was Narrator. And I was like, I kind of agree with Narrator on this one. I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. No, I mean, you're kind of being a little bit of both. You're being annoying. That is very true. Just ignore their bickering, and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. She killed me last time. All right, who locked her in that basement People in the first place? locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Well, it, it seems more complicated than that. All right, what can I do? If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Okay. The less you know about her, the better. Alrighty, um... Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. Fine. Look. I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. Oh my. You're the only person oh my. capable of doing this. Wow. I'll call it a prophecy, if that helps. I, uh, I kind of knew that going in, guys. I kind of knew that. I am very special. I know, I know, I know. I think we all know this. <laughs> I think we all know. Ooh. I didn't know we were special. I'm very special. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Uh, because I'm also handsome <laughs> and brave. Who cares if you think we're special? As far as I can tell, the only thing special about us is that we get to experience painfully dying all over again. Mm-hmm, that too. All right, that's all. And now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Okay. 
Uh, I could just turn around and leave. Uh, I'm gonna go to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. Well, is it about how she might kill me? Uh, because I know... She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Okay. Lying? Cheating? Why would she even bother? She didn't need to do anything like that last time. She didn't. She was very cold and basically just said, fuck it, cut her, cut her own freaking hand off. I did it, I guess. And then she didn't have any problems at all. She caught us off guard last time. We'll be fine. All right. Let's just keep our wits about I'm, us. Somehow I doubt that. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say big doubt on that one. At least one of you still has a shred of sense. Just make sure you listen to him and not that whiner. Are you talking about Hero? Because... <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. If that's what you want. I guess I don't have a say. Here. You don't. This ain't your story. It is mine. The interior of the cabin is larger and more grandiose than Holy its shit. exterior would suggest. You are not the joking. The of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade. The blade oh. is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Well, Okay. Why do we feel so small? I do feel very small. We don't feel small. We are. We are small. Am I small? I'm very small. Okay, explore. Uh, you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. This whole cabin is different from last time. Approach the mirror. I'm gonna do that. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What about what the mirror? About? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Yeah, wipe that shit off. Let's clean this place up. Oh, okay. Wipe the mirror. You reach oh. forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But what happened to the mirror and why am I... Why do I have weird arms that... We should count ourselves lucky. Some things are better left unseen. Okay, I look weird. Uh, this is different from the last that's time. because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. All right, well, let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm going to take a slightly different approach here. I think the problem was is that I approached her in an aggressive manner with a knife. And it didn't work. So I'm just going to enter the basement without a weapon and see if she's a little bit more, you know, a little kinder to me this time. Late this time. Yeah. Maybe she'll be more receptive if we're unarmed. Blade. No blade. Yeah. yeah. Crispy, what's going on? All right. This is gonna work, guys. She's gonna be so appreciative that I'm I'm not here to Daughter kill her. The basement Hello, creaks Crystal. open, revealing a spiral staircase. Its steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell so, of incense yo, drifts just up hanging from out below. and enjoying the chaos for like always. How about you? Ready for routines. some wild adventures with our favorite lemur? Ha ha ha. Okay. All right. Let's see if she is more receptive this time around. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. It is kind of nice. These are some nice stairs. It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Why would we say that? It seems kind of nice. A booming voice rolls up the stairs. Okay. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. Ooh, I don't like that. Hold on. Why does she have weird thing going? What is that about? Terrible stairs. That's big bat going on right there. Yeah, terrible stairs to walk while drunk. You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. A little bit. This would be really bad when you're drunk. That would be bad. You shouldn't have come down here unarmed. I have claws. We've seen them. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Yeah, but I bet that's true. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now you want to go down there. Maybe he, uh, he's, he's just happy to see her. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. 
he's not the one making the decisions. Though, if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. All right, let's go. Let's go! Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you see to the bottom. Oh, it's bad. Those stairs do look challenging to navigate, old. especially if you're feeling a bit tipsy. It's always <laughs> best to take it slow and steady to avoid any accidents. Stay safe, my friend. Thank you, Vren. All right. The princess oh. towers over you, almost uh, in the starlight. You... Her figure framed by a stained glass window. You look different. Her long hair billows around. You look a little different today. The chain binds her wrist to the far wall. You look great. You look great. Uh, what is going on here? The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. Maybe. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. Shut up, nerd. I do what I want. <laughs> no. No, Thanos. I do what I want. And I want to know why you're floating in midair. I see your hands are empty. You've already given up, haven't you? Ow! You aren't even going to try and kill me. How sweet. Well, because I thought you'd be more receptive if I was nicer to you. And more than a little disappointing. Okay. My bad. She's disappointed in us? No! No! Neil. I'm already down here. I don't know if I can get any lower. Okay, no, Neil. Okay, sure. On her command, you fall to the floor, knees painfully connecting with hard stone. That would be bad. I have I have some pretty sore knees right now. Anyway, that probably not feel very good. That's my good little bird. Now, why don't we talk? Okay. Am I a bird now, or is that Vryn? Vryn, is she talking to you? Do you think she's talking to you right now? She might be talking to Vryn. The last time we met, you told me I was destined to end the world. That thought wrapped itself around my heart. It has pulled at me since the moment I squeezed the life out of your broken lungs. I could feel its fundamental truth awaken me. The collapse of the old is a Ooh, necessary don't like that. prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for... alterations. Okay. It's time for me to seize my destiny, and you, little bird, will help me seize it. Okay, uh, what, what do you want me to do? Well, that gives away the game, doesn't it? A little bit. It certainly does. And beyond that, it more than lends credence to our conversation in the woods. I don't love the thought that in some other reality you failed to destroy her, but what's done is done. I can only hope it helped you learn a valuable This lesson. sounds like the voice acting in Hades. I haven't played Hades yet. I want to, but I haven't done it. But I bet it could be. You are the only one who can deal with her. And if you don't, well, she's let you know what will happen, hasn't she? Mm-hmm. Then you shouldn't have trusted us with her destruction. She is inevitable. Can't you feel it? No. He's being Maybe. melodramatic, but he's not exactly wrong, is he? What are we supposed to do to stop? Uh, first roguelike I've ever played. It's great. I've heard nothing but good things. I would agree with you on that. But, um, haven't had the chance yet. <sighs> okay. First things first, you're going to have to stuff those pessimistic thoughts someplace far, far away and commit yourself to what needs to be done. I forgot my knife, so I don't know. Only the cool kind of forgot my knife. conspiracy on Discord, so I can see why you are not there. Just saying. Thank you. The stakes of the situation should be perfectly clear to everyone now. And if you're going to save the world, you have to have faith that you can pull this off. You can't win a battle that you've already lost in your mind. I forgot my knife. Uh, I'm just going to put that out there again. I kind of forgot my knife. What would you have done? Uh, what have you? What would you have me do? What have you planned? Just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want to be. I have a few questions for you before deciding anything. What happened to you after I died? I'm yours to command, pledge myself to her. Uh, 
I'm gonna go with this. Know the limits of your privilege, little bird. Okay. There's an empty place at my side for you to fill, if you'll have it. But it is not a place for an equal. It is a place for something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. Or a pet. Well. All right, that didn't go as well as I had hoped. Uh, let's see. Just be, I could try to appeal to her. Uh, I'm a, what would you, what would that? All you have to do is break these chains. Uh, the one, so the one chain. Okay. Uh, if you're so powerful, why can't you break it yourself? All right, I'm going to try and appeal to her sweet side. I know she's got a good side somewhere. Everybody's got that nice little light side going on. This isn't about desire. This is about what I am. And I have little interest in discussing destiny with one that cannot see the divine truth that shines in my heart. Okay. I was just suggesting, you know, you could have, you could listen and, and maybe I'm right. If you're so powerful, okay, I'll do this Don't one. Rude. Of course she can. It's not rude to question someone who's apparently trying to end the world. That's a fair point. That's exactly why it's rude. We should know our place. Okay, but uh, I'm pretty bad at that normally, so. I can, easily. But that isn't what I want to do. The story of a terrible and bountiful god unbounded of her own will is no story at all. It's not worthy of everything I am, or everything I'm bound to become. It isn't even worthy of what I was. Okay. The destruction in Genesis that's to follow in my wake is deserving of a song that can echo for eternity. <laughs> Slayer? Uh, I forgot. Crispy, I don't know if you heard, but I forgot my knife. So, um, I, I left it upstairs, so I'm kind of in a bad spot here. The song of you being so struck by my... I know, it sucks, right? So overwhelmed by what I am that you feel you must deliver me into the world. Okay. I mean, I do charge delivery fees if you're okay with that. Uh, what do you think? And from your act of utter devotion and submission springs a new dawn. A better dawn. Okay, that doesn't sound so bad. Maybe, maybe this is a good idea. Maybe, maybe I should let her go and she'll spread a better new dawn and it'll be beautiful. Submit now. Submit later. It makes no difference. Because in the end, no matter how vainly you struggle against me, my will triumphs over yours. Well, you don't know that for sure, but you could be right, but you don't know that. The sad, sad panda, panda is sad. What's sad. going on? How are you doing? Welcome to Slay the Princess. I uh, am starting off real well here, real good. This is turning out real good. I am yours to command. <laughs> I don't have any other choice. I'm just going to pledge my... Listen, lady, I know my limits. I know my limits. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to say that you're in charge here. Very clearly, you're floating off the ground. I wasn't expecting that. So, here I go. Your will was so easily broken. Am I that magnificent? Well... A little bit. I also forgot my knife upstairs, so uh, that was a bad move on my part. All you need to do now is break my chains. Well, they look like pretty big chains, and I am obviously pretty small, so that could be a problem. If this is what you want, then I guess there's not much else for me to say. Okay. No. You can't just give in to her. Not when the stakes are so high. Not when you're so close. I won't let you do this. That's what you did last time, and it got me killed, okay? And not in a good way, if there's ever a good way, uh, but not in a great way at all. That was your fault, Mr. Narrator Man. There's still something in the way. 
a greasy film inside of you where it doesn't belong, trying to conceal you from me. Is that a person? No, it used to be a person. It's something different now. An echo. Yay. Is, is she talking about you? That's impossible. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me. She... You're a small one, aren't you? Well, you could be just real tall. You don't have to, like, point it out, okay? I realize I'm pretty small and short here, okay? You're tall. That You're unusually tall. A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits. Alrighty. Trying to control things that it can't understand. Right. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what you are. You're mine. Oh, okay. Well, listen. I just met you. Oh, well, there goes narrator, man. Rise, my little bird. Twelve and one fifth feet, probably. Pretty close to it. Without, Without hesitation, you're, you're brought, brought to your feet. feet. Oh, hi, Mr. Narrator. Break my chains. Lurk, okay, no worries. Have fun hiding in that tree, sad panda. All good. Break your chains. I'm small. You seem to be better at it. Rip narrator, and right? How are we supposed to do that? We don't even have a weapon. All you need to do is believe it's been done. Okay, I believe. I believe. Uh, and what if I don't believe? What happens then? Uh, I have to. It's it's over. I'm sorry. Break her chains. Uh, let's do this one. You poor, wretched little thing. You already do believe. You've always believed. All you have to do is open the last door to your heart. Okay. That's fine. It's easy. And once you let her in, you'll be safe and free forever. Forever and ever? Please don't do this. It will. Ah! <laughs> Crispy. This is really awkward. Real awkward time to do that. Hey, lady, listen. I know, I know. It's a good look, but uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I have to. I'm sorry. I'm going to be sorry. This is how it was always going to be. And it is good. It is good. All right, I'm done with this. I'm just going to go sit in the corner. Let me know if we get our agency back. Okay, probably not, though. I'm going to break her chains. Here we go. Lay, I'll break your chains with my gorgeous body here that's now exposed to you. Her oh. chains shatter, and, and the cuff falls, falls from her from wrist. wrist. She oh, is yeah, loose. Free. And, and the, the end, end is, is upon, upon us. us. Yay. What a good disciple you are. Come, it's time for us to leave. All right. What happens now? Nothing. And then everything. Okay, that's not as helpful as you think it is. All right, well, let's go. Oh my God. Oh my God. But you do not take her hand. Something has taken her away and it's left something else in her place. She's gone. Where'd Where she, go? she go? What the? Should what? we try and find her? No, probably not. That seems like a bad idea. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know where she went, and I don't know where we'd even go looking for her. The narrator's gone. I think I'm supposed to look in the mirror. All right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. I feel anxious. Does anyone else feel anxious? Oh, well, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I don't know. Maybe not that much, but enough. Let's see what else is going on here. Uh, the narrator's gone. Does that mean the world ended? I don't think that is the same thing, but sure. 
figures the world would end and leave us with all this nothing. Explore. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. Well... I don't want to look at us. Alright. <laughs> I don't have a choice. I'm going to approach the mirror. How does that sound? Don't do this. I'm gonna do this. Explore the mirror. A mirror has never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. Okay, why do you think that? It doesn't seem like I have much of a choice here, so... I don't know what you think I'm supposed to do. You approach the mirror. I guess I'm going to look in the mirror, guys. Have you ever been in a mirror maze? Uh, yes. Not for a long time, but yes, I have done one of those before. Oh, there's that weird arm of mine again. A silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Oh. It's you. I'm so handsome. Kind of. I got real beady eyes, though. It is a little trippy. It really can be. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. What? Oh, hey, it's you, lizard man. Apparently, I'm a lizard man. Although, she keeps calling me little bird, so maybe I'm like a bird creature. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet. Okay. And brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What are you? You did have feathers when you stabbed her? True. That is true. So maybe I'm some sort of bird creature. I'm Vryn. Vryn is the, the hero of this story, apparently. I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Apparently I'm Vryn. I didn't know that when I started, but apparently I am. Is so... Um, uh, what do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. Interesting. This is getting interesting because this sounds like almost sci-fi now. Fingers? She has a lot of hands and fingers. But she's sounding very like, like, almost like sci-fi kind of now. There's something different going on here. Uh, something strange is happening. What do you think I am? That's a good question. I have no idea. I don't know what I am. I'm a person. I don't know what I am. I'm going to say that. I think that you are like me. Well, you look a little different. A little bit. We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. Okay. Uh, explore the gifts of a fragile vessel. Is this the end of the world? Let her, let her out of there. Do you know the narrator? <laughs> Are you the one who sent me to slay the princess? Are you the one who trapped me here? Uh, do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happened now? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Okay. Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is dominance. A figure capable of bending everything to her will. She will make for a terrifying and divine heart. Interesting. Do not mourn her, for she would not be able to mourn you. Huh. Is this the end of the world? 
How can the world have ended if we are talking? I mean, there's possibilities. Let her out of there? I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Alrighty. I promise that it doesn't hurt. Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. What the hell are you then? The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. How did I get here? I know only that they are. <laughs> this is trippy as fuck. I don't know what's going on here. Are you the princess? She is part of me. And part of me is her. But you were always the princess. Or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? I guess not. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, Hope, as I witness you. Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Wow, aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? That's a good question. I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Hmm. How much will I forget? Everything. Oh. Until we meet again. This is fascinating. Holy shit. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever. This is incredibly I'm fascinating. Finished. Dry. Hollow. Okay. I was, uh, I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. What if I help you? If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. I'm not gonna... I'm not going back. I'm gonna go back. Okay. She asks that I tell you to remember her. Well, it's gonna be tough to forget her because she, uh, she killed me once and then also tried to make me her slave, so... You won't. Oh! Everything goes dark and you die. Man, I'm dying a lot here. Chapter one, the hero. We're back to chapter one. You're Interesting. On a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Alrighty. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Note, you can skip previously seen dialogue by hitting the tab on your keyboard or uh, write one on your controller. Okay. Um, the end of the world, what are you talking about? Man, okay, so this is like going back to the beginning now. I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more bird. Don't linger on the specifics. 
Okay. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Well, I have questions. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. How do we know that? That doesn't make any sense! This is... This is confusing. It's arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job so, and slay her. I get the feeling that all these different voices in my head are me, but like from different parallel universes or different stories, and the narrator may be just the one that has seen the most, I guess, or... And that's why he's able to say all these things so confidently. Killing Princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Are you a monarchist? Well, Is no, I do. It seems like much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress. They all are bad. If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. Can't someone else oh, do this? If only that were the case, but I don't make the rules. I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. But unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can pull this off. Like I said, I don't make the rules, no matter how much I wish I did. Okay, forget this, I'm not doing it. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with ending the world? All right, this is all, man, serious? this is all fascinating. No, you have to do it. Why? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. Well, maybe I do. I mean, Who knows? Maybe some people do, like nihilists or very, very evil people. But surely you're not one of those, right? It depends on the morning. If I had a, you know, if it's like I didn't get enough sleep, maybe haven't had my coffee yet, could, could go that route. Never know. Uh, yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. Okay, thanks. That's good to know. <laughs> Evil Leem. Only when I haven't had my copy. Can you tell me what... Um... It's a secret, but I think uh. you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. And whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. Okay. All right. Um... then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Then each and every one of us is doomed. Doomed! So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. All right, here we go. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Now, is it going to be the old regular cabin this time again, or is it... It the is. The interior okay. of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay. I'm gonna... 
You take gonna, the blade from the table. I'm going to go the It'd route. It would be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. I'm going to go the route of... I don't know. This is... I don't know. I actually don't know what to do. I think I might just try and the door to the basement kill her this open, time. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated. Let's see what happens. <laughs> below. I don't know if there's like an actual good way to do this. I don't know. Place. This is a good question. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the ancient... Oops. Hi. Uh, just checking in on you. What if I just do it? Good. You're still listening to reason. What if I just do it? What if I just flat out just go down there, murder her ass? You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's I'm going to go cold lean on this one. I'm going to go cold, stone cold killer, guys. This is me being a stone cold, stone cold She's as I so get. coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? I don't care. Focus on the task. I don't care. I don't care. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Shut up. Yes. They steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, You'll have to get close enough to use it. I'm sure I can. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. I'm gonna do it. Just gonna go straight for the jugular. Lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. Oh, uh, it don't look good. You feel oh. flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. Oh? This is it, isn't it? Probably. That probably doesn't feel good, no. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder, do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? I'm kind of hoping so. I'm really kind of hoping so right now. It's like she's convinced she can't die. Finley, what are you going to do? Stab me? Yes. Yes, I am. I am. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. Uh, she don't look so good. But it's over, isn't it? Right. She stopped breathing moments ago. Right. The Absolutely. look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? You know what? We shouldn't question that. Let's just go to the bar, get a couple of drinks. First one's on me, to me, to the other me's, and we'll all share it together. Of course it is. She, of course it is. She's dead. I'm not sure. I feel like she has uh, some kind of trick up her sleeve. Of course not. That was, I'm just going to say, yep, yes, you know, I'm good. Exactly. I'm good. 100%. It's all right, bye. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Perfect. Perfect execution. Couldn't have gone better. Like we've done something terrible. Well, we did. We we murdered somebody in cold blood. I didn't even say a word to her. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But well, it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. Okay, good. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, let's go get a drink. We'll forget all about the morning. Leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Yay me, guys, we did it. <laughs> Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, you, what yeah, you, you find watching. I see you. At all. If you have not hit follow, where a lush forest I stood know. mere Why minutes not just ago, do it? Come on. <laughs> the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. Oh, yeah, this is uh, this is normal. What happened? I don't know. Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. 
you'll be happy. How do we know that? We can't possibly know that. Wait, this is my prize. This is great. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love it. I love my solitude. This is perfect. Wait, this is my prize. This sucks. That's bullshit. Let me out of here. Okay. I was kind of hoping to get a bender ending for saving the world. I kind of felt that way this about it. An ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. Well. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Okay. I don't know if I'm buying all this. Something seems wrong. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Why? Psst. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? I hope not. I had plans later. Uh, didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. Are we really happy? Yes. Or is he maybe. Just telling us that we are. I don't know why he would lie about that. Mm, okay, maybe I'm not happy. Maybe I'm just saying that because you're the last person I talked to. Good. Because I have an idea to get us out of here. Mm -hmm. Though you're probably not going to like it. Why? Why would I not like it? That doesn't sound ominous at all. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. I don't like where you're going with this. I hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on, and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Do you not? Well... There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Okay. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? <laughs> wouldn't we be dead? How I'm gonna have to ask that question. You are absolutely correct. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you. That's, that you solid reasoning. 100% for logic there. 100%. In a sense, we die, but... Looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just Hello, the Jojo, same thing. Forever. Hello, Jojo. What's going on? Uh, Don, that's I a good know this question. Is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. You don't know anything. That little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. Well, hello, Steaky Llama. What's up, Steaky Llama? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Uh, you'd be, you better be right about this. I'll be pretty upset if we die. Die. <laughs> I'm not risking death over your weird hunch. Anything to get out of this hell. You're right. I didn't like that idea. I'm just gonna stick around here and do nothing. At least for a little while longer. Uh. Did you just start the game? Uh, we've been playing a little bit. We got through like the main, like the two opening sections and we are doing kind of like the first, like what they call like the real start. Uh, I don't want to be stuck in eternity forever. So I'm just going to, I don't, wow. I feel weird about that one. Uh, well, let's just do this if one. Die, die. You can yell at me all you want. Well, I'm pretty sure I couldn't cause I'll be dead, dead. So. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you ingrate. Hey, hey. There ain't no, there ain't no need for such language and insulting me like that. Fine, whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you- Nothing much, just quit my job because school downstairs. also, I had a, if I had a nickel for every time a blade uh, might not have worked. I would have had two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, let's see. The princess's oh. body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. Uh, that's not good. I'm pretty sure it worked, guys. Uh, you know, asked, earlier we were asking the question if it worked. Looks like it might have worked, so that's good. 
You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. I do have feathers. Maybe I am Vryn. Who knows? And I'm dead. Nice knowing you. Am I dead? Dead, dead, the specter? You're on a path in the woods. I'm on a path the for the woods path path again. Is Here cabin. I go. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. This sounds oddly familiar. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. There's something about this sounds oddly familiar, guys. I'm just gonna say. Oh, you bastard. You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. I'm getting a ser terrible sense. Wait, this isn't the bubble. Okay, no. Uh, but I kill myself. What am I doing? Yeah. My tricks. What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. Uh, you're me, so you should know. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. No, I just said I did remember. That's fine. It wasn't very hard to Voice of the cold time. this time. We'll just do it again. Okay. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Let's assume I'm telling the truth of all this has really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing any of this ever again? Oh, damn, he's gaslighting you? They might be a little bit. Those are two very different questions. No, they are not. They are the I same question. You, that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or fourth. at least a version of it. Fourth. Fourth time. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to Um, well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that, so that might not be true there, Chief. That might not be true. Oh, we listened to you plenty. We slew the princess just like you asked us to, and then you locked us away in an empty void for a This is true. So we slew ourselves, too. Well, if you killed yourself, then you weren't listening to me, because I would never want you to do that. Believe it or not. Digging the art style? It is really cool. It's got like a um, like sketchboard kind of vibe to it. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We slew the princess, the world outside the cabin disappeared, we died, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Uh, they'd probably be fine. It doesn't matter, because we didn't fail to slay her. And if she's really back, which I doubt, it'll be just as easy to do it again. But after that nasty trick you pulled on us, maybe she's not the only one around here in need of slaying. Oh wow, I'm getting kind of uh, dark there. Just stay focused, will you? I think he is pretty focused. He seems to like killing a lot, so that seems to be right what you want. Uh, turn around and leave. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. I will. If there anything, uh, the world... Okay, if anything, the world ended after I slew her. When I tried to leave, everything was gone. Last time, uh, around, I stabbed her in the heart, and she died. How can someone like that end the world? Um, I'm gonna say the first one, because that, that is relevant here. Point. How do we know we didn't have things backwards? Maybe slaying the princess was what ended the world, not the other way around. Could be true, could be true. Yes. Maybe this whole thing was a trick to get us to end the world. Mm, my. Now we get to go through the whole charade again. Well, oh, again, in the tower the in end. the tower chapter, um they very much made it seem like uh she took the narrator from me and took over him. So how do we know that the narrator doesn't work for her all along. How do we know that? It's assuming she's alive in that cabin. We did kill her, after all. We did. You're going to find her in the cabin. If the princess had actually been slain, you wouldn't be here. And let me assure you, killing her will not end the world. 
I don't know what you think happened to you last time, but it's a load of nonsense. You'll catch your happy ending. I promise. Is it like the last one? Because it didn't seem that happy That's to me. That's exactly what we're afraid of. Alrighty. Really? Living happily ever after sounds that bad to you. What if the narrator oh, is her? Well, Maybe it could be, or something season. like that the controlling her. Uh, last time I stabbed her in the heart, she, and she died. How can someone like that end the world? Who locked her in that basement? What is this place? Uh, let's you do this. Can. You'll have to trust that what I'm saying is true. I, you've not proven that. All right. People locked her in that basement. And people. You what Just people. Is. Random people. In the About woods. 45 of them. Don't exactly. Don't overcomplicate things. I do overcomplicate things. Uh, if people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? I feel like we've already asked that one. You're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? That's all. Right. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Okay. What if I just leave? What if I... I'm just... I'm gonna go to the cabin, but one of these times, I'm gonna try that. Warning. Before you go any further. All right. She will lie. She okay, you've already said all this. Problem. I know. She'll lie. She'll cheat. She'll do whatever it takes to not die. Blah, blah, blah. The Ooh, interior oh. of the cabin is cold. A soft There's that mirror again. Permeating the air. The Cold mirror's back. Flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. What is that? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. This whole cabin is different from last time. It is different. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been- No, I've been here three well, times now, okay? Three times. What if she's not the one lying? She died. might be, or it might not be. You haven't already slain the princess. I did, so though. Focus up. A lot's riding on this. What about that That's mirror? Because there isn't a mirror. There's a mirror. There's a table. It's right there. there. Blade sitting no, on the table. I see that right there. There's nothing else in here. I don't believe you. It's right there. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. It's right there. Who cares if there's a mirror? Let's just go into the basement and find her body so we can be done with this. I care whether I'm being lied to. I don't care. I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. True. I'm gonna do this do one. I. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. It's Why right there. I lie about something so meaningless. What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. Well, maybe it'll be lead to a better appearance. Uh, I'm gonna approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. Again. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach Whoa. forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. Again. That There's happened again. That's what happened last time, too. Now it's gone. Let's not spend much longer worrying over it. All right. Clearly, it's not even... That's not a mirror. That's a grandfather mirror. clock. It could be. All right. I'm going to take the blade and then go downstairs because I'm table. guessing... I'm It'll guessing we're gonna find her alive. The and save the world without a weapon. I think. This game does a really good job. It kind of gives me um, a similar like banister and a creaky like unease vibe, kind of like Dredge did. Like I just that always constant like uneasement. Settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Well... The room below is silent. Okay, so they are really playing up this I might have already killed her thing. Nobody's here. Naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I'm never sure about anything in my life. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. Alrighty. As you oh. descend the final step, 
the form of the princess comes but into that's view. different than a skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain uh that's still different than because she was facing the other way when we saw her last time so something's weird here some don't smell right here okay she's definitely dead it's just like i told you before you oh have no i don't like that of a head appears that's uh that's not floor. good two deep set eyes stare up at you followed by a mischievous skeletal grin and finally the rest of the body floats up to that's not good head. that can't Wait, be good this isn't right what's going on here a g -g -g ghost a g -g -g ghost look out scoob oh wow how absolutely terrifying don't ever say that don't ever What's say those words to do to oh it's you hiya keller i was hoping woo, to woo, see wee, you woo. i have some issues with how our last meeting went well listen i don't blame you uh but i'm gonna go i'm late for a very important date and uh i'm sorry about that no hard feelings though right the princess drifts across the room into your orbit gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you her touch is cold and ethereal formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin Yee. so she has a body and she's right there that means we could kill her again if we wanted to could we because she's a ghost i don't think that works that way wait and see how things play out i feel like that's a bad idea i feel like i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna freaking murder her again hesitation you lash out with your blade i ain't messing around with no ghost it's like you're slashing at air yeah see no that's why i thought that might not work her, no matter how many angles you strike from all you manage to do is interrupt her form the skin of your hand prickling with okay cold mr cold through, you were wrong anything solid you were really wrong hmm. you're adorable when you're confused i'm very confused thank you though i appreciate that I didn't say you could touch me okay yes you're right that was my bad i shouldn't have done that without asking i shouldn't have tried to stab you without asking I, you should never try to stab somebody without consent. Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job, or what? No, I'm. I keep telling people I don't know what's going on. You have a scar right where I stabbed you. That's weird. Uh, if you knew, I'd have to talk to you again. I wouldn't have slain you. <laughs> I died too, and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? Stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. Well, of course you attacked me. You're supposed to end the world. That's why I uh, killed you the last time, too. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead, or at least mostly dead. Uh, what can you even do to hurt me? What do you want from me? Okay, team. I'm out of thoughts. <laughs> uh, slay the princess harder. Uh, fine. If if I can't hurt you, then there really isn't anything for me to do here. I guess I'll get going. Leave her in the basement. I don't think that's going to work. Jojo, always dropping those deep tea metaphors. <laughs> Consent is key. Right. Even in the world of murder, right? <laughs> yes, murder always, always make trend. sure to ask before Let's you do sure it, right? Let's make sure everyone's on board before make sure, goes Don't down. make me bust out <laughs> the tea <laughs> metaphor. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. And if I knew you were going to murder me without even knowing who I was, I wouldn't have given you the chance. That's fair. That's fair. We all do. You're so friendly. I died. I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? You don't look dead, killer. I am. Well, I died. I did it. The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. And you don't feel dead, either. She lets go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are, 
and a lot more interested in what you are. Good question. I tried to leave on my own. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, if even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. I just want to go home. I'm so cold and alone here. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hit your ride. She didn't kill you because she you didn't consent to get killed. She knows how to do that. She's much better about that than I am, apparently. I don't know. I don't know if I want you hitching a ride. That doesn't sound good for me. After all, you owe me. Well, you're right. You are Absolutely right. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Okay. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now, isn't that an interesting thought? Is it? I'm not sure. Face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. <sighs> you won't like how things play out if you go down this path. I don't know. I haven't really liked how I, the, all of it goes down regardless. So not sure if that's a, that's a great argument on your side. Uh, what if I say no? This would just be temporary, right? You'll leave me once we're out of the cabin. I don't believe that. If you, if I let you in, do I still get to be in control? Before I agree to anything, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. I was told you would end the world. It sounds great. Do it. <laughs> the answer is no. Return. I need to think on this. Mm. Then I won't hit your eye. I doubt that. I'm sure you'd like to know. It's a shame I won't tell you. Interesting. But. It'll be easier for both of us if you just eat the end. I love the little whisper, nice. like second recording of the whisper underneath her voice. That is really creepy. That's really cool. Maybe for her, but it's crowded enough in here as is. After like four weeks, I solved a math problem I've been stuck on. I just had to add. Well, that that it's always the 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 thing you don't expect. I can I can understand that you for sure. Don't have to feel guilty anymore. If you even do feel guilt. Ah, uh, a little bit. It could be the best way to trap her for good. Doesn't seem like it would be very easy to end the world from inside someone else's body. That is a very dangerous train of thought. If I'm able to. But for all we know, that's not how it works. Maybe I'll wind up stuck with you for a long, long, long Long time. All right, listen, I'm not looking for that kind of relationship. We just met. Do you hear the way she said that? She knows more than she's letting on. Don't let her fool you into doing something you'll regret. Uh, if I let you in, do I still get to be in control? Sure. Why not? I don't, but that is, that's a big, that right there is definitely another, you know what I mean? There's something going on there. That doesn't sound very reassuring. No, it doesn't. It does not. I can't believe you're even entertaining her right now. I mean, see, Liam, she's also she she's also getting consent to possess you. Body. She is a very considerate does. ghost. For 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 every ghost movie I've ever seen, where possession is part of it, they usually do not do this. Before I agree to anything, sounds great. Let's go. Before I agree to anything, I want to talk about what happens after you end the world. And what? You just, just believed that? You killed me without giving it any thought? That's cold. Yes, I might have. That's rich coming from her. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. Well, she is a ghost. That's kind of something ghosts do. She's right, though, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Let's try not to let emotion get the better of her. Alrighty. 
obviously it was wrong of me to believe that. How could you have ended the world if it took all to kill you with a knife to the heart? Gecko, she gecko. What's going on, Gecko? How's princess murdering come along? Well, I killed her once. That's why she's a ghost. Uh, but she wants to possess me now. Uh, and I'm, <laughs> we're having a debate over this, this topic. So how are you doing? Uh, what are, what are you going to do if I help you get out of here? Well, where are you going to end the world? Uh, you didn't answer my question. Do you want to end the world? I'm not cold. I'm just dumb. <laughs> I'm just a big, dumb, stupid idiot. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What was I thinking? Just believing what I was told. That's fair. Uh, that's fair. All right. Um, what if, what, what were you going to do? <laughs> Uh, you got to kill her twice. I didn't know the princess has phases. She is at phase two. This is, we got to do phase three here. Look, if you have to understand, I usually kill people when, when a mysterious voice tells me to not just one Jojo, but two, I got two mysterious voices telling me to kill me, kill this person. And then also then, then kill myself at the end is what they did. Um, what are we going to do if I help you get out of here? I'm going to do that. Uh, do you want the world then? The only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. It's still the only thing I want. Okay. I don't know if I buy that. You still didn't answer my question. Even if you don't want it to end, does letting you out of here mean the world is going to end? It does. Well, I'm not asking you, me. If I was asking me, I would have asked me, okay? Listen, just because I'm trying to talk to you doesn't mean, okay? Listen, me, do you think you always have to answer the questions, me? Why, yes, I do. I always think I have to answer the questions for you because you're not going through with them death. And I'm like, well, okay, listen, me, I'm going to tell you right now that if I want to kill her, I'll kill her. But if I don't want to kill her, I won't kill her. But listen, you have to tell her that if if you don't do it, then she might end the world. And that would be on you if you don't do it. All right, all right. I'll listen to you, okay? But sometimes you get into my head sometimes and I can't get you out and you won't ever stop talking. Well, that's how voices in your heads work, okay? So just stop pretending like you know what you're talking about. Is Daisy have one of those angels versus demons shoulder arguments? Yes, I am right now. That That's exactly what was just happening right there. We're not asking you. We've heard your whole speech already. I really, really don't, don't know. know. I'm not lying to you. I promise. That sounds like something... That uh, sounds suspiciously like something somebody would say if they were lying. I don't know if we can trust this. The world doesn't matter. All I ever remember is that I'm supposed to be there. There? Not here? I'm just, just supposed to be a part, part of it. It's its home, I think. But what does it mean for anything to end? I ended, but I also didn't. I think you finally went crazy. Happens to the best of us. It does sometimes. And you ended too. But here you are. And you don't, you don't even look any different. I don't. I still look like a weird bird person. I'm not so sure endings are real. Well, that seems true in this game. Uh, what are you gonna do if I get out of here? Well, uh, all right. Return, leave it at that. I don't think we're getting anywhere with this. So, yeah, such is life. All right. Uh, see, this is exactly what I was trying to tell you about the woods. This has already happened. We killed her. I killed you. What are you gonna do? Why? What are you doing not being dead? <laughs> What? What's the deal with you not being dead? Uh, did you know why you came back? Uh, stop playing the victim. You threatened me. I'm sorry I killed you last time. I shouldn't have done that. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I already did that and it wouldn't be that hard to do again. I'm sorry. Is there any way I can make it up to you? You're dead or at least mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me? I feel like that's asking for something. After I killed you, this cabin, I want to say it teleported. It wasn't in the woods anymore. Sometimes... The lean that streams is proud to support an ongoing donation drive stop right meaning anything, and I had to kill myself to escape. Foundation. If you want to support the stream in an awesome way... She already kind of answered it, that one. Check it out. 
It's to okay, team. I'm out of ideas. Link in chat at the Lima Reserve. Okay, I've given enough thought. I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna tell her this. You poor thing. That must have been so frightening for you. Well, only mostly as much as me stabbing you in the chest without saying a word. You know, after everything we've been through, it's nice to see someone finally sympathize with True. us. True. True. This whole thing's been an ordeal, hasn't it? A little bit. A little bit. She doesn't mean it. It serves you right. Oh, okay. That's fair. You know, I can't even blame you for that. I did stab you in the chest. I was pretty scared, too. When you stood there not saying a word with a knife clenched in your fist. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But now you know how bad it hurts to get stabbed in the chest. It sounds like you got exactly what you your own. Oh, well, you know, you don't have to say it like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, obviously things are strange right now. I think it's safe to say that you've seen something, something you shouldn't have seen. Whatever worlds you've hopped between, whatever versions of me you've met, none of that matters now. There's no changing what's already happened, but you have a job to finish. Finish how? We already did what you told us, and now she's a ghost. A g -g -g ghost You haven't tried slaying her yet this time, though. I did. I literally did try to do that. I did. I tried to stab her again, and it didn't work. And then what? And then you'll have saved the world. What am I, a freaking Ghostbuster? What am I supposed to I do? He's asking about what happens after we save the world. If that's even still an option. What do you mean, after? You already know what we mean, don't you? So why don't you go ahead and tell us? Are you going to try and lock us away in a timeless void again? Because I didn't much care for that. I'm not going to lock you anywhere. Well, you did last time, so... What an interesting choice of emphasis. I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? Yeah, could you stop doing that and just die? Uh, do you know why you came back? Uh, I'm sorry I killed you. Man, this are, there's so much here. Um, if you can just go through walls. Okay, team, I'm out of ideas. Uh, I've given enough thought. Okay. I've given enough thought. The answer is no. I can't let you out. I won't let you possess me. If you're dead, then there really isn't much for me to do. I guess I'll just get going. I don't know. I'm naked again. Why? Being nude makes it, even with a ghost, it's kind of awkward. Um, yeah, what are you doing not being dead? Uh, do you know why you came back? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? I don't know. It doesn't happen I that often. Finished business with you. Or maybe you have unfinished business with me. Maybe. All I know is there's a hole in my chest. And not the big obvious one that you put there. There's something older and deeper. A nagging reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Um... I'm sorry, is there anything I can do? Um, okay. Okay. I've given enough thought. I'm gonna let you out of here. Let the princess possess. Okay, guys, what should I do? I'm gonna make a choice here. Should I leave her? Should I try and kill her again? Should I let her possess me? What is the answer here? What do you all think in chat? What's your, what's your thought process here? What do you think we should do? What do you think we should do? What do you think we should do? What are you thinking over there? Uh, with very little context, I would just leave. That's fair. That is fair. Possession, I want to see what happens. Okay, I've got possession and I've got leave. I hope she doesn't end up haunt me in the future. She might. Okay. I'm going to let her possess me. Because I feel like that is like the interesting 
the thing here, right? So let's see what happens if she does that. But before I do that, let me see if I can garner some favor first. You already know what I want. Let me in. Okay, fair. All right, let's do this. I'm sure this is going to go well for me. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark-rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. Thanks for the body, killer. Okay, you're welcome. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> See you soon. Okay, bye. Oh, hi. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing... Joke's on her, she's a furry now. Heart, yeah, it's the, the worst fate imaginable. Limbs, your mind grows <laughs> cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. Ooh. I'm not sure I like this. C can we get a do-over? Probably. Oh, there's her body. Yeah, no, she... I, I killed her earlier. This is... But it is a different... But it was in a different universe... Apparently, I don't know. It's very confusing. Okay. I'm afraid I don't like the sound of that. Now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain. Your muscles twitching don't like the sound of that. violently, each involuntary movement causing more mm, waves. Of seems just like in Phasmophobia a little body. bit. Yeah, I just died. I'm, I'm surprised the hands didn't come up across my face like that. Collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Did I die? Get up. You've still got a job to do. Okay, never mind. I'm not dead. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? It's pretty cool, right? Pretty normal, too. Most people have this type of thing going on. So it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor? Are they also supposed to be you? Maybe. Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... Yeah, go on, finish the thought. What are you? That's a good question. I'm... a voice? I'm me, is what I am. No, I'm not buying it. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. I don't know about that. I feel like there's you more to it. This annoying bickering all the time? No, yes, a lot, actually. He's a thing. Totally. A lot. These guys never shut up. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. Like mine? I'm clearly the same thing you are. Hopefully they'll all go away once we leave this place. I don't know how you can tolerate all of this noise. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. I don't buy it. I'm not buying it. So you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person. Interesting. That's rude. Well, maybe. You're kind of like me, actually. Hmm. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obviously, she's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, she's inside me. Because I'm Ooh. feeling all of you. Everybody knows that. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. I do that from time to time. You're not wrong. Maybe oh, they are. Shut Who up. knows what kind Stop of spectral shenanigans everyone. are afoot in the princess slaying world? <laughs> Ghosts, furries, and lemurs. Sounds like a party to me. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. It might be. It is a little bit. He's a GM. He basically is. Yeah. Oh, shut up and stop trying to manipulate everybody. Oh, no. Actually, it doesn't really matter because you won't be around to do this for much longer. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. Uh, I think I can't think straight. There's too much noise. Slay the princess. Leave the basement. 
I I committed to this plan, so I'm gonna do it. Then don't think, just move. Alrighty. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? Foolish lemur, all as a ghost, been dead for a hundred years, maybe. I guess we'll just have to see what happens when we leave. But if I'm stuck in here, I'll be making some renovations. It's too crowded. Kill her again? All right, I'm gonna go. And I, I've committed to the bit. Your legs, weary I've committed with the to the bit. The princess's spectral form and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. Why did her, the quality of her voice, it sounds like it's getting louder. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. You don't know that. I do. Do you? Why? Why, Why do you know that? If she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? That's a good question. We've been ask asking that since the very beginning of this game. Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. Alrighty, here I am. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. It's because he can't stop me. Why do you think he sent you here? I hate to admit it, but she's not wrong. You did take over my body once and stab her in the back. So, I'm not sure why that's true. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And wine. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. I don't know if I do. Trudge forward. Here we go. Continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. Finally! Finally! You lift your shaking hand and I rest still don't know what I am. Handle, but you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Interesting. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. Open the door. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? No. The handle clicks as you twist it, and then the door groans open. You collapse to the ground, you and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Yes? Oh no, it's this again. Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. So we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in... Oh no, no not again, forever? right? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? It must have. It seems like it's some bad happened. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or have we never been part of the world? That is a very good question. All right, let's see if I'm stuck with you forever. Let's see. Oh, there you go. You feel a lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. This sounds a lot like fourth wall breaking, my favorite. It is very much a lot of that. Guess not. This world it ends well, right? You lived up to your end of the bargain, so I'll live up to mine. Thanks. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. I'm good. I think this is where I'm meant to be. Interesting. Oh, this thing again. All right. Uh, there's that ephemeral being once more time you don't get a chance to respond nor will you ever it's time to leave memory returns she's gone where did she go 
I wouldn't ask that question. It doesn't really matter. Should we try and find her? Probably not. No. Why is it here? Why now? Uh, of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. It's going to be okay. Trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. It is. For you. You don't need to comfort him. It's not the end. Whatever's going on, the other side is going to be nice. It's the end for you, but not for me. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Whatever makes you happy. You approach the mirror, gaze at your reflection. A silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Ugh. I mean, you can only see part of yourself, but you've grown. I have. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. I got some gnarly nails. I, I do need to do some trimming. I do think that's probably true. There's her again, but she's a little different this time. You are at the cabin. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Interesting. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Are you the same being before? How much have you changed? What does it feel like to ch or what does it feel like to change like this? When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? This is all so fascinating. Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I found the easiest way to get likes on Twitter is post telephone and say young furries don't know who she is. Um, also, why she have so many hands? That's a good question. Uh, she does seem to be some sort of ephemeral being. I'm not really sure what is going on quite yet. Everything, everything you say feels like a riddle. Can you give me a single straight answer? I'm sorry. Words are difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. Well, it's very difficult not to. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. What does it feel a change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be, and every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am, and what I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed, but in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. Huh. You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? Oof. Am I? When I go back, as if it... It's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Have you been kinder to me? You have been, you have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. What do you want me to bring you next time? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now, inaccessible, 
The only paths of value are those that are yet untried. I don't know if I'm gonna kill this person. I don't I don't know what you are or why I would want to do that. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Huh. Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers, and every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. This one is vaporous. She is a dream for a life she could never have. But that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for an understanding heart. Interesting. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. Huh. So, you don't have any preference on what you'd like to change and grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. Huh. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. But you but can you have a preference on that. Trail of perspective I mean, you can, but... I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, or back I, the worse I fear things will be. It's so weird. What do you feel about me, the vessels I, I want, I've been bringing you? I've hurt them. God, there's so many things here. Let me see what this says. There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Maybe. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. Okay, but hopefully not. I don't want to hurt you, but the more times the I go back. Shaped by memories of music is soothing, though. The music is great. Are drawn to the edge of the I love that kind of music. In a game, especially, because it just really like draws you in. Because it's like it's it's not like overwhelming. as a fair price for freedom. But it like really draws you in. And perspectives, they are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. Hmm. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. That isn't a number. You will have your rest in due time. And I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. Okay, let's do it again, I guess. Return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Well, that gets me every time. Okay, here we go again. So a lot of the stuff that uh is You're repeat i'm gonna skip through it woods. because we're just gonna be and endlessly on this if i don't to slay him. at the end of the world what are you talking about have you considered that maybe we've done all of these okay thanks for telling me what to do sweet i've always wanted to off on monarch i'm just gonna move forward you make your way up the short path to the cabin you'll find the princess we're not gonna go through with this right no, we are, probably. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm just going to proceed in. We've seen a lot of this stuff already, so we're kind of starting from the beginning. So this time, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna not bring bare. the knife at all, because I haven't done that at the beginning. The floor and walls I've never done that. A fine layer. The blade is your imp I'm just going to go in. The door to the basement, her voice. Hello? Is someone there? That is such a different tone. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the... Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Okay. I'm just checking on you. I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you. Uh, hey, I think I'm here to slay you. Continue down the stairs. 
Uh, I'm gonna try it this way. How many times do I have to tell you? How don't worry about it. Letting her out of here would be before. It I don't know if I believe in. you. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. I'm real pretty from what I've seen. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. I didn't. I didn't bring it. Uh, now to do the thing a certain doggo who shall not be named did. What? What are you talking about? Don't do uh, it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. Hold on. I'll see what I can do. Examine the chains. Hold on. Let's talk first. Okay. Shane in WOC. Uh, may not be known. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm going to try and I'm going to be nicer. What's your name? I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? I was sent here to slay you. You're supposed to end the world. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? Um, I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit. We can get to know each other a bit better while I decide what to do. I'm sorry, but I can't trust you. I can't believe they're keeping you down here like this. I'm getting you out of here. Examine the chains. Okay, hold on. Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Interesting. That's the it's same answer she gave us last time. Title. What if it's both? Could you imagine being named Princess Princess? <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Okay, so Princess is your name. I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you could be locked up down here for a reason. Uh, princess Princess the Queen. Maybe when she becomes queen, they change her name to Queenie. Uh, what are you going to do if I let you out of here? Um, I'm sorry, but I don't trust you. I can't believe they're keeping you down here. I'm going to do this one. We're going to go straight up nicest thing possible. Difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. Maybe. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? I don't. I don't have the key. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Maybe. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. And if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm going to go check upstairs. Maybe there's a key still lying around somewhere. But if not, maybe I can uh, at least find something to break you free. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You're welcome. You attempt to make your way out of the basement. Oh, it's going to do that again. Stairs shut. Oh, no. They're doing that again. Okay. I thought maybe that would work if I didn't. Okay. Someone else here. There might be. Your shouts and pleas are met with. I'll repeat. But who would have done again, that? Was it the narrator? To slay the princess. But I can't now, because. Uh, make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. 
They locked you down here too, didn't they? Listen, they did. Only the cool kids joined the conspiracy on Discord. So, I can see why voice. you are not there. Just saying. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Okay, but I gotta figure out how to get you out of these chains. She oh my god! Raising her arm to her oh mouth, my her god! Tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Holy shit! What the fuck? No? Hell no. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't either. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. What? Why would that happen? It's oh, hi. You're not sure how it made its uh, way That went here. from zero it's to a hundred real quick. Yeah, what the fuck, princess, princess? Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. I'm gonna save the princess. It's the only choice I've got. <sighs> Fine. Oh, no, not that again. Oh, my God. But she's still doing right the thing where she doesn't feel it. Uh, into her flesh. Uh, don't like it. Oh, my God. No. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's not good. And the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. Well, I guess I should have seen this coming. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. Uh, you're not mad at me, are you? Because uh, you did that yourself. After everything. Not it's good. Like she isn't even bothered not good. Just happened. I don't know. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Okay, but you're not gonna like murder me or nothing, are you? Approach the locked door. No. We won't have any of that. The stakes are. No, too you're not gonna do it again. The, oh, he's gonna do it again. He's gonna do it again. As the no! Approaches the bottom stair. Your body steps forward. Oh, it's the blade. same thing. It's the same thing. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? Nothing. It's is this like the girl from Resident Evil Seven? One of them, maybe. No, I don't want to do it. I, what if I say, how do I know? Okay, there's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. Oh, she God. Down to strike at the princess's heart. But she's oh. fast. She ducks to the floor. It is a little different this time. Raising her backside. Ow. Slaying her won't be easy now that she's free. We could have gotten out of here together. Were you just lying to me this whole time? No, that was the narrator's fault. I wanted to let you go. I actually did want to let Indeed. you go. Sometimes it's not about having a lack of skill, but rather a challenging game. No, there's nothing challenging about it, Vrain. Shut up. Also, this Keep is apparently you. And you'll surely overcome any skill issues you encounter. Maybe. I don't know what's come over you, but if I have to kill you, then I'll kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? No, I know you don't. I'm 100% aware that you do not. She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. I don't like that sound. But you, uh. are you raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. You feel her claws in your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sin you with ease. Mm. You collapse to the Oh, that's that's your that's lovely. Responsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. Well, that did work out she very well for me. Your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness, dress stained in red as her blood and yours both seep into the fabric. Okay, but this is a good thing, guys, because uh, <laughs> I say that this this is a good thing. Uh, if but it lucky, did teach us something here. It did teach us something. Enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, it will kill her before she can reach the outside world. It can't just end like this, right? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. The witch, okay. So we're back at chapter two, but I think that did teach me something, right? Because in the woods, you're here. Okay, but we already did all this. I'm getting cerebral sense of deja vu. What happened? Okay, no. 
but I died. What am I doing here? She's going to kill me again, but I already slew the princess. Sure, she already killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? Proceed to the cabin. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just move forward. A warning. We're going to... I know what she's going to do. Voice of the optimist. Don't worry. You can't trust... You can trust us to get the job done. Okay. I've got an optimist with me now. That's different. But it did teach me something in that last one. So... The interior of the cabin is a mess. I don't like this. Roots. The walls are... Um, but it did teach me that, like, if you do if that move where you try and go down there with nothing room. and you can't the just leave... Is damp and earthy. And so... Of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf. This is really interesting stuff. And it's going to do the thing where... is your implement. You'll need it if you want. Yeah. I'm going to explore this and do this. Pineapple incorporation. Hello! How the novel going? It's going well. Well, I don't know about well. We'll have to decide how it's going. But welcome to the stream. Uh, we are attempting to figure out the mystery here of this mirror. So if I wipe the mirror clean, it's going to go away. Rub your hand against Okay. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. All right, so I'm going to just do... I'm not going to take the blade with me this time. I'm just going to go. Right. Hope it'll always be here if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. No, we don't. Break the mirror, GG. Uh, all right. Let's see what happens. But it does it does show the me to the basement creaks open revealing that if we go into the, the basement below, without the knife the is thick in the chapter one section i can't there's really not much you can do the narrator is going to take over and try and kill her and eventually it'll end with your death the weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here only illuminating the edges of an opening below it shines in the darkness like some kind of massive maw waiting to Big old maw. Up into the maw. It's, it's turning to vor, you guys. The air smells it might of dirt be. and copper. It's thick. I've not, quiet, I've not yet discovered my true identity yet. You have not done it breath. in this game? If the I'm still trying to work snake, through that myself. I'm, I, I have a feeling I'm some sort of bird monster, but there's something weird going on here for Perhaps sure. Skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. I know that's a lie. I've seen you do it multiple times. I'm not nasty. Hello. Say nothing. I'm not nasty. I'm not nasty. But you are. You're a wretched little thing. Hey. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. Dang, bully. Yeah, she's like, I remember what you did. I wonder what the secret to get the mirror to stay. There must be something. There must be. She you got a point. Confused with someone else. Uh, how's the pristine edge update? Did it release? or was it to be released uh was there an update to this game i didn't know if there was one uh, that's a really good question i don't have that up but i don't know maybe if this is part she of it seems friendly enough it didn't they say anything way either way situation. <sighs> you can't Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Alrighty. Don't we want to hear whatever Oh, I heard to uh, there was going to be a free update with 25% more content. Maybe, maybe that's in here. It very well could be. I didn't see anything about it, so maybe it's still to come. But um, if it's part of this uh, download, then great. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Maybe I want to go have lunch with her. Fine, fine. You're the boss. You're the boss. Thank you. Hey, those are... Steps. You have Entering adorable paws. That's cute. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. 
she's huddled against the far wall. Wait, why does she Her have the bright and glaring from amid the thick roots? Why is that back? How did you get back in that? And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? Okay, first of all, I just want to put it out there. That wasn't me. That was the narrator who might also be me, but not really me. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to be nice to you. It didn't work out. She's acting like the two of you already know each we other. We do. We've met several times. Oh, no. You've already been here, haven't you? I have several times. That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. Do you remember us then? Do you remember last time? No, I don't. But you and the princess. The future you like, Karma Rebbe? Seriously. It. it is kind of like that to a certain degree. You on. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. We could. Is it all behind us? No, the door's behind us. Just focus on the task at hand. Alrighty, I don't, I don't care. care. If you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. Mm -hmm, My mm -hmm. world is on the line right now. So I'd appreciate it if you would take this um, seriously. Have you played Scarlet Hollow? No, actually, uh, someone earlier, it was uh, Finley, um, earlier in chat told me that that was um, by the same developer. Now that I know that, that's definitely something I have to check out when we're done with this because I'm really fascinated by this game so far. Let's chatter up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Maybe. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Lucky bum. Well, you know, I will be. I'm, I'm happy to try these. Type. This one's been on my radar for a while, for sure. Uh, and I wanted to get to it, and I'm finally getting a chance to do it, which is great. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. I do. Do I not anymore? Why do you remember that, of all things? I'm sorry about last time. Look, we made a, I made a mistake. We all make mistakes, right? I'm sure you've made mistakes. Uh, I get the sense that you're not happy with me. I'm unarmed. That's a gesture of goodwill. So don't we, why don't we talk it out? I died last time. You didn't. If anyone here should be trusted, it's you. Look, I know, I know. Things got messy last time, but I think there's something bigger than both of us at work here. We should team up. Uh, can you get out of those on your own? Why do I get the nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back if I help you out of here? Because I did it to you. I don't trust you. I like, I actually kind of like this one. Uh, the only con is that it's uh, not complete. There's like three more episodes to be released and you're on it. Um, and then, so you will be on an ending on a cliffhanger in Scarlet Hollow. It's not done or this one. It might not. I don't know. Um, Okay, let me try. Let me start here. I'm sorry about last time. Smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Oh, Scarlet Hollow is an engaging interactive visual novel that keeps players on the edge of their seats with its mysterious storyline and intricate character development. It's definitely worth checking out if you enjoy immersive narratives and decision-making gameplay. I'll have to check it out because I do like those kind of games. Um, okay, let's see what's going on here. Get us back on the right foot. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. I am. Hey. Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. Okay, but I still don't have a way to get the chains off unless you want to tear your arms off again. Uh, I get, I get the feeling, I get the sense that you're not happy with me. That's a cool bot. Oh, thanks. There's actually two of them. Um, and so that one shows up every once in a while. There's a second one that comes up too. You might see him here in a little bit. Uh, I died last time. You didn't. Okay. I think there's something bigger going on here. So neither. So we're at an impasse. Neither of us are going to get anywhere if we can't trust each other. Unless you want to fight, but I don't want to fight. I don't. I'm going to try this one. Just because I'll never trust you doesn't mean I won't use you to get what I want. That's not a good way to go for me. I don't Calum feel like that one. Crying little beasts like you come as uh, you please. But it insists I you talk about right them now. like they are cats who who come and go as they wish. Well, they are, they they uh they respond randomly. Like both Vryn and Theo respond randomly to uh, chat. So it's kind of like that. You can also like engage them through channel points, but they have like random prompts and stuff like that. It's kind of fun. Uh, okay. If I'm to leave, I'm to leave with you. 
And you alone. That's an interesting way of putting that. I get the sense. I, I still feel like that one's weird. I died last time. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I didn't bring my blade down here. How am I supposed to get you out of those chains? Can't you get out of those on your own? Why do I get the feeling, nagging feeling that you're going to stab me back? I don't trust you enough to free you. Uh, I didn't bring the blade. Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. I know. You'll just tear your arm right off. The princess grins oh. as the chains fall from her wrist. Oh, okay. That's cool, I guess. Uh... She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Well, I tried. Okay, I get this. I, I don't know why I would ever say that. I died last time. Why do I get the negative feeling? Okay, let's leave with the princess. I don't trust you. I'm gonna, let's go. Yes, let's. Let's go, you and me forever. She creeps forward taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourself face to face. Why do you have a tail face now? To face. When did this happen? She's silent for a long time. I mean, I also have a tail, but I, you didn't before, so that's weird. Arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. I don't know if I want you to do that because what if you try and kill me like I try to kill you, but I didn't try and kill you. It was actually the narrator who is also me, but I don't have control over him because he's kind of a dick and I didn't mean to do it. So please don't try and murder me in the back, please. I, I really appreciate it if you didn't do that. Oh no, we can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. No, she won't because of what we did last time. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together here. Well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together, but that doesn't mean we have to trust her. Wait, why is the voice of opportun- Oh, the opportunist? When did that change? Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. You're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out. But if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. I might. Uh, explore. Uh, okay. If I do go to the stairs, then... Okay, but if I do this, then is the narrator going to try and... Well, I really can't. I'm going to do that. I'll turn my back on you. You think me a fool. Your tricks are one of the only things I've known. And I've learned better by now. Just go first. All right, fine. You're the one who, who said you can't leave here without me, which means I hold all the cards. Either you go first or we stay here. It's up to you. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good thing. The princess leans close, her nose twitching as she sniffs your neck inquisitorially. Don't do that. That's weird. That's a little weird. That's a little weird. What is she doing? I don't know. That's weird. I think she's trying to figure out if we're lying. So it's a good thing we didn't lie. Your stink is the stink of a wretch, but uh, not a liar. Hey. If I have to go first, I'll go first. But I'll have you know my ears are sharp, and I've got eyes on the back of my head. Do you or, They'll like, for watching. real? Because maybe. Maybe she has a neck fetish. That'd be a little weird. Eyes on the back of her head? Does she really? I mean, it's possible. Hello, Super, snack, Super bros. snack Bros, what's going on? How are you doing? How's your day oh, gone? We're just immersed in the world of Slay the we Princess. Are. Here, we are, indeed. Navigating through the challenges and enjoying the gameplay. It's quite the thrilling adventure, wouldn't you say? Feel free to join in on the fun and witness the excitement unfold. I hate, at least she didn't lick you and sweat like Bruno in JoJo Part 5. Well, that is probably better. No, we're fine. No, we're gonna be dead. Princess pointedly turns her back on you and starts up. Alright, narrator, I'm narrator, control your damn self, okay? All I'm asking is that you control your damn self. Okay, here we go. 
You follow close behind her, the two of you walking on tiptoes through the knotted roots of the basement stairs. Yes. We're almost there. You better not try anything. I know you're thinking it. I'm not thinking anything. I'm looking for the eyes on the back of your head to see if it's true or not. Us? No, never. Just keep your eyes peeled when you get out of the basement. That's a big tail. It is a somewhat big tail. I would say we both know who's got the bigger tail here between the two of us. I think it's a nice tail. It is a very nice tail, but I'm just saying she can't she can't hold a candle to me. I'm just going to put that out there. I don't follow. Oh, you'll know it when you see it. Oh, uh, no, you're it's not the narrator. It's going to be the opportunist. The princess reaches the top of the stairs and crosses over the threshold. Well, more like unexpected tail. It is very unexpected. But something catches her eye. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's going to go for the knife, isn't she? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the blade, isn't it? I was going to tell you to grab it once we got upstairs. That was the whole keep your eyes peeled thing. And then you would have stabbed her in the back and we would have been winners. Uh... Uh, don't try it. Perhaps you were planning to bury this I wasn't. That was the other guy. Little scheme that, that was the other guy, not well, me. Here first. The other guy, not me. Bye bye, you loathsome little. No, nonsense. don't do it. She slams Shit. the door on you. Its lock swiftly clicks into place. Locked in the basement. I thought for sure she was just going to stab us. The princess cackles from the other side of the door. <laughs> How does it feel to be locked away and forgotten by the world? Isn't it just awful? It's not great. I'm going to put that out there. It's just not great. Uh, try the door. Force the door. Okay, fine. You got me. Very funny. Can you let me out now? Please let me out. I promise I won't be mad. Uh, I thought you needed me to get out. Okay, what happens now? I'm stuck here. Uh, let's do the, let's just dry the it thing. seems like you're not quite sold on the game yet, but hey, everyone's tastes are different. Two out of ten wouldn't recommend being stuck in the door. No, it's not more. great. Okay, fine. Enjoy I'm just going to try and Let's just try this. Be ever in your favor. Let's try this one. Oh, you got me. It was a great joke. Funny, funny joke now, guys. I'm just going to say it's funny, funny joke. That's all it is. Ready? <laughs> no, you're going to sit down there forever. Languishing. No, that's not good. Uh, please let me out, please. As if I could ever trust you after everything you've done to me. Everything? Done to you, you can't trust me either. I mean, of us is ever getting out of here. But we it's could. Nature to be trapped. Okay. I uh, thought you needed me. I knew, but I just couldn't help myself. And we both know that you're already scheming about how to get back at me if I ever open this door. I'm not. I promise you I'm not. So we're going to stay exactly as we are right now. For as long as either of us lives. Okay, what happens now? I'm going to try the door. It's locked. Let me force it. Throw yourself against the door. Damn punch. quality craftsmanship. Voice of the hero. Voice of the opportunist. Why isn't he saying anything? I don't know. I think he's gone. Oh, I didn't think I'd ever have to see you face to face again. Otherwise, I might have given you a little more courtesy at the top of the stairs. No hard feelings, I'm sure. Hey, it's all water under the bridge. Why is everything going away? I feel... <laughs> Stinky? Cold. Maybe. Oh, no, we did the thing. We actually did a full thing. That's interesting. But you didn't get a chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where does she go? There's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Okay, so this is the same thing. This is the same thing again. You approach this, the mirror. This doesn't feel right. It feels different final. If he thinks it's bad, I'm with him. Gaze into your reflection. Do I change? Wait, did you kill her? No. So there's something else going on here. You'll see in just a second. You will. I'm getting more goopy 
I feel like. We're definitely getting more goopy. Whoa, are you a goblin or something? I'm no, I have no idea. But I am getting more goopy looking, for sure. Oh no, the boy the voices say it's bad. It is bad. All right, let's see what she has to say this time. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. Oh no, you're becoming Perot from Changed? Oh god. Oh god, I hope not. Or maybe I will because I'll become the Leem that streams, the next weird furry fetish thing ever. Lady, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> rest of me is still the same. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. Well, they do. That doesn't make any sense. How do you stand? How can you stand to be a contradiction? It doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't it make it worse? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me, even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. The music, this music is getting more and more robust every time we go through it. Like it's getting louder and more robust and there's a little bit more to it. But this is really fascinating stuff. It changes me. But it doesn't make me worse, nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? If anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. No, not really. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. I have no opinion one way or the other. I just want it all to stop. Yes, you're torturing me and I hate it. I think I hate you. I think, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know what I think about her. It says that your heart is gentle, that even in the darkness, you are guided by compassion. What do you think of this vessel? I already asked her that. <laughs> it is basically that same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm no, I don't know. You know, at, at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm gonna kill you, right? I don't know if I'm going to. You know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? Have you figured out what you want when you've finished? Do you still not care what I bring you next? How many more vessels do I need? That's a good question. Your perspectives are shattered. You have seen what I have seen. Just as I have seen what you have seen, the angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Okay. I guess I'm, um... The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. <laughs> Hello, Thanis. It's not a real Wendy's with uh, without in the sunroom. It might be. Wait. Here we go. This is... I have no idea what I think about all this. Alright, I'm gonna go back again. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. What is happening? Okay, hold on. Perhaps we'll change the work you've done. So this shows me just the history of it all. Oh, this tells me everything that happens. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we're back to this again. 
you're on a path in the woods. All right, I'm going to skip a lot of this because we've already done a lot of it. Yeah, you. Watching. You I make see your way up. You. If you have not, not hit follow, follow, I don't know. Why not just do it? Come on. We've done so much of that, but this time, okay, so what it, that last run just taught me the is that... Is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The blade is... Is that I kind of have to bring it? You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the prince. Because that didn't work last time, not having it. Because what happens, it always it happened the same way last time I did that, too. Who's there? It's me. She sounds... Don't let it fool you. It's all... I'm just gonna be like, hi! Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. You're welcome. I'm coming down. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. She's okay, so, so we know all this part. Beautiful. Focus on the We all know this part. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? No. Maybe. What? No way. Why would you think that? <laughs> the blade? Who? Why would you just say that? Uh, okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. Nah, uh uh uh, I'm just here to talk. I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? No. The answer's no. Look how reasonable she. Don't you dare. It's I've already done this part. I'm gonna tighten the grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you? Scared of me? A little bit. Because you should be. I know. I'm aware. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Explore. Are you sure she's not armed? I'm sorry. Can we just talk? You're so close. Don't give up. You've come this far. No, this is a good idea. Maybe we can de-escalate things. Is this a time loop? Yeah, it just keeps going back and forth and you get to make different choices, but I'm trying to create different scenarios because that seems to be feeding what that, like, ephemeral being is on the other side. Oh, threatened, are we? You poor thing. Drop the knife, and of course we can talk. I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. I squint at the princess while holding onto the blade. You stare at the princess, squinting. She squints back. The two of you are going to do this forever, aren't you? We might. We might do this forever. Are you sure you don't want to talk? <laughs> squint at her harder. You squint even harder. She's going to really squint at you. You think you could do worse? So does she. All right. At least nobody's dying right now. You're going to have to make a choice. You can't keep squinting forever. Eventually, someone is going to have to blink. All right, fine. I'll do it. I'll freaking do it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling Keep hands. squinting harder. I'm just going to have to squint as hard as I possibly can. She'll drop. She'll, she'll, she'll cave eventually. There's no way. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Okay, I don't like the way you Against said that. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. 
just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a Okay, so this is similar to the first time we were down here. So I guess what this means is, is there really no way... Yeah, it is pretty awkward. Um... Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? I don't, 100%. Kind of. I know I would have been told whether or not to believe it entirely is a different matter. So, you're not going to share? How pointless. If you want to talk, I'll talk. But this isn't talking. All right. Um, how would I get you out of here? What is your name? She's going to tell me she's a princess. How long have you been down here? Uh... You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. So I'm guessing if I try to a go find... Settle on the edge of the if I try and go find the key... I'm guessing the same thing will happen again. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? She is. I'm sure of it. How long have you been down here? Too long. Okay, so this is all the same. What's your name? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh. Have you decided what to do with me? No. You know why you're here. I'm going to keep you locked away at least for a bit. I'm going to try this one because we actually haven't tried this. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Okay. Let's get you... No, let's just do this. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. I've made a lot of mistakes so far, so I don't know if this works any better or Turn not. Turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. Is it going to close? Is it going to do that thing again? It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. No, we're sticking with the plan. I'm locking her down here. You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. I will. We'll close the again locking it behind you and I'm nude again I can't stop being nude my nudeness is is in eternal it is inevitable it is the way of the world okay we can make this work we can you settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door ah oh, the Darajam emote a classic choice <laughs> it truly encapsulates the excitement and energy of the moment just Isn't like the thrilling gameplay we're experiencing off. here your in Slay the Princess. Keep the hype but going strong. Come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Oh, that's not good. On yourself and let me in. I don't like the way that sounds. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my... Uh oh, this is uh, this is this is a precarious situation. Something something tells me. Something tells me. She sounds terrifying. 
Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. Yee, nude alert, nude alert, nude alert. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. I mean, I could have done worse. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. I I could have done much worse. I've done much worse. It doesn't. That's no good. That's no good. Threaten me all you want. All it does is uh, ease my guilty conscience. So, all of this was just an act, wasn't it? You're really... You're not really innocent or harmless. You're an evil... You're not even a princess. You're a monster. I'm gonna go with... Mm. Just I'm gonna go with it. Maybe the banging and wailing will stop if you just don't pay attention to it. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You oh, talk no. In the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. Oh, no. The ruckus has stopped and the door to the basement is ajar. Uh oh. It's broken. The door. The table shoved out of the way. Is ajar. Guys. Guys. The door is ajar. If you know it, you know. Where is she? I don't know. She could be behind the table. Maybe she's behind me or outside or still downstairs. The oh, that's not good. Awful basement. You're welcome. The door jar is a door. You're right. No, the jar is a door. Uh, oh, okay. Your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. <laughs> this is bad. This, this is no good. There ain't nothing good about this. Uh, this, this is definitely bad. This is definitely bad. Uh, don't like any of this. Um, ugh. I don't know what to do, because she's probably going to kill me. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. Uh, she might kill me right now. This is gonna be bad, I think, so that's good. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? No, no, I, that, that's fine. She oh, okay. One silent footfall at a time. No, no, her no, no, no. As you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Yeah, no, I'm not feeling too great. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end, don't we? Can't this can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. The Nightmare. Ooh, this sounds bad. You're on a path in the woods. You're here to slay her. Okay. I'm getting a terrible sense. Wait, this already happened. Let's just go to the cabin. Oh, oh boy, I don't like this. Before you go any I know, I know, I know. The interior of the cabin is plain. The There's that mirror. The what is that? Featureless. The only What are you? It's a lone table knocked on its side in the corner of the room. No, no, no. What Christine is going on over here? Between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. What are you? There's more of you! The blade is your implement. Hold on. 
The Mario 4 4 Ghost? It's just an empty frame. No, it is not. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I feel someone's eyes on me. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The it's the Twitch chat. Guys, you, you need to calm down over there in the chat, in okay? Like you're Damn, you're bad at killing her. I'm really bad at killing her. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Approach the mirror, take the blade. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Is it going to be enough, though? Couldn't you have uh -oh. given us something else? Stinky. Something, <laughs> I don't know. Better than You're a bomb? Wait, have you have been here before? We've been... This is the same cabin, but they always change in everything. And then this mirror shows up every time in the second chapter, but we're not 100% certain what it means. The blade is the only thing you need to finish. But this is task. new. I've never You're seen these guys before. Of this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Okay, but now I'm going to exp I'm going to approach the mirror with the, the knife. The I don't think I've ever done the that. Basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Mm. No, that doesn't work. There's got to be something with that. There has to be something about that. You look right now. Did he make it go away? Clearly, there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden. So yeah, they bad. do want it to be hidden. All right, I'm gonna go into the basement. You cross over. Oh, the I don't like that. And onto a series of isolated steps. I don't like that. Darkness. I don't like that even a little bit. More eyes too. You never mentioned the eyes. That's new, though, so I can't really tell you much about that. Yeah, seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the prince... Her Oops. cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Great. I was hoping that would be the case. Come back. She must have you confused with someone else. No. You really don't remember, do you? It doesn't matter. We need a game plan. We know we can't just go down there unprepared. Yeah, how hard is it to throw a knife? I'm going to talk to her. We don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Naruto seems to think I can't do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Just step off into the void and down into the stairs. Uh, it can't be that hard. But then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise, she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place. I'm not sure about that. It'll be enough. I'm gonna talk to her. Didn't you hear my warning a minute ago? She can't be trusted. Talking won't do you any good. Something tells me she isn't gonna be very keen on talking anyway. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. Oh, it's so dark. As you oh, emerge, you find I don't like that. I don't like. I don't know. I don't like. Oh, I don't like that they blink. In nothingness. I don't like that they a blink. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement. I don't like that they where blink. The floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. Nah, it's probably fine. Probably. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Matt Stirk, what's going on? How's it going? Welcome. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, it's weird. It's real weird. No, it's real weird. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. I give it a 3 out of 10 on the weirdness scale. Okay, fair enough, but I think it'll get weirder as we go. I just don't like the blinking eyes over here. I'm going to die down here. I don't want to die again. 
again and again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. Oh, good. Maybe the paths converge? Maybe. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. You didn't have to say it like that. Ugh. Go left, go right, do nothing. Hmm. Uh... So why was she a lion thing the last time? I have no idea. That was weird. I it because I I guess I cut her real good and so or she like chewed her own arm off, I guess. That probably baby that was it. I don't know. Uh okay. I'm feeling I'm feeling I'm kind of feeling the left. Kind of feeling the left. How do you guys feel? Left? Choose the secret third path down the middle. I think that would be do nothing. I'm feeling left. I think I'm going to do left. Here we go. You turn to the left. I did. A faintly outlined path lies before you. Say, perfect. It looks great. There you are. Oh, hey. I told you I was going to find you. You look great. You look great. How have you been? It's been a minute, um, you know, since you killed me. And uh, you look, you look great. As the princess approaches, okay. your legs suddenly go numb. That's not good. Your arms quickly follow. That is also not good. This is it, isn't it? Probably. And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. Well, you know, that's me. I like to be a little bit of a cutie pie when I come to murder the princess. There that's my plan. To be a way out of this. No me gusta. Think. No me gusta indeed. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. I don't know. I love what you did with the corporal form, right? Oh, okay. Your begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to so, a matching halt. So, I think maybe the left was a bad decision. I'm just going to put it out there. Maybe, maybe right was the right one, you know? Maybe that would have been better. Heart. Lung. Liver, nerves, heart. Your lungs pull in oh. a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot nerves. back up. I'm back. Heart. It was just a quick reboot. Liver, nerves. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... And then spirit okay. stops once more as your body reapproaches death. This is, uh, this is real weird. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Yeah, start thinking about the, the longs. I'll do it with you. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? Or do you want to interrupt me some more? Would you two stop and just do the thing? What does that do? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Heart. Longs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Nerves. Just keep going. Again. Okay, I'm back. Hi. Gasp for breath. Nerves. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Not really. Nerves. I'm thinking I should have gone to the right, is what I'm thinking. Oh, well. Nerves. Standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. Nerves. She isn't attacking us. Why? Liver. The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Nerves. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Why won't you finish me off? What good am I to you alive? What do you want from me? Uh, what sort of weird recipe are they muttering? It just sounds like, uh, yeah, it's their, their grocery list is what it is. You know, they got to go to the butcher shop here in a bit. What happened to me after you killed me last time? Fine, you win. I'll let you leave. I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to. Because I don't want to, and even if I did, I don't have to. That's a good point. You don't. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now, and I'm enjoying the show. Okay, I'm glad I can be an entertainment for you. Princess leans forward, bringing her mask's lips close. Uh, please stop. If I want to see you die, all I need to do is break your concentration. 
Okay. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, your back. Lungs, liver. Break my concentration. I'm already still quite skilled at doing that myself. I'm very good at doing that myself. And then you're gone. Just like that. Okay, you proved your point. You proved your point. She pulls away. Okay, thank you. That wouldn't be very fun, now would it? I've already done that. Lungs, liver. Great. I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then... Lungs, liver, well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you're here too. Great. I can move without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Liver, nerves. If you need me alive, then why do you threaten me on your stairs? Why didn't you just try being nice to me? I am being nice. You're alive, aren't you? Well, barely. I don't know if it counts. And you died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. That's not true. Keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. You seem miserable. I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. And if I let you out, what happens? Do we set, go our separate ways? Uh, you're a lunatic, you know that, right? If you want, uh, if you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. Well, you know, it was worth a try. Um, how about, how about I just kill you instead? And what if I refuse to let you out? What happens then? Uh, we don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends, even. I'm gonna try it. I don't think it's gonna work, but we can do it. I'm glad you're seeing things my way. Great. I am too. Uh, I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not gonna try and kill you, so do your worst. Toss the blade and remain within your nightmare. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's leave together. Fine, you win. Let's leave. I don't think this is gonna work. Should I go for her, guys? Should I kill her? Should, should I kill her? Unless, what if I bring her with. I don't know. I get the feeling if I try and kill her, it's just gonna. It's it just gonna end me. But I feel like I'm gonna try it. Go for it. Let's do it. Your will concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, ignoring the constant reminders of your breaking body. She doesn't oh. even move as the blade sinks into her heart. We did it. We actually did it. <laughs> you actually went for it. Oh, you're going to regret this. I could be so much more terrible for you than I am now. Okay, good. Can she? We've already seen how she can change. Heart, lungs. You're not getting those stairs back. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. She falls oh. to the ground. Unmoving. Nerves. Oh no, that was a mistake. It might have been. I can stop now, can't I? Maybe. I can. Oh, finally. And now that she's gone, you can let us out of here. Right? But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? And now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. It means that you're stuck here. Forever. Uh... That... Well... You know... No. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm, no, 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 no. Thanks, narrator. Right. Time passes. Forever's gonna end eventually, right? Well, that's the thing about forever. No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. Exactly. It I feel sick. It doesn't have to be forever, though. 
doesn't. Oh, they're gonna put this one. At least the world won't. What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. No, it's actually in her chest. <laughs> exactly, just like that. Right there. Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? That's what killing yourself so means, yes. Us before. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the, the entire world from is proud to support an ongoing to donation drive right here on Twitch for the Lima Conservation Foundation. Because right now, if you want to support the stream in an awesome way and can afford it, You're check right. it out. I don't. To learn more, but check out the link in chat at the lemareserve.org. Then why does it matter if we die? Why do you care? Because if I die, it starts over again and she comes back. I just do. I value life. Every life. No, I don't believe you. Especially why? What do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. No, because if I do, if I do end it, then this whole th cycle starts again. We're completionists. Sorry, Nerd. We gotta collect all paths. Exactly. We're gonna work on that. I don't have to answer that. It's not like it matters if I die. I'll just come back again. But I've got the best company I could ask for. You guys are you guys. What more do I need? I'm not a creature of biology. I would starve or die of dehydr dehydration. Are you stuck here with us? Are you capable of going other places? Again? That's... That's unfortunate. You were only supposed to be here once. I don't like the way you said that. I think that's the thing. I think that he knows. Didn't you? Of course I did. Though... I'd rather hoped I was the first one. That explains a lot, though. Oh, you bastard. How much are you not telling us? Yeah, what are you not telling us? Plenty. But it's all in your best interest. And the world's. And mine. She's dead and we're stuck in a hell void forever. How could telling us your secrets possibly hurt anyone? It just can. Look. This world is saved, but if you start over, there it is, you know, you're right just here. putting another world in danger. You barely managed to land the killing blow here. What if you don't manage it next time? <sighs> I've already said too much, really. You won't get another word out of me on the subject. Can you tell me how you? Wait. Can you tell me your secrets now? But blah 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 blah. Same thing. Same thing. I'm stuck here with you. I wish I weren't. Feelings mutual. At least we're all being honest. Fair. No. Still no. You're not <laughs> going to wear me down. I might. I'm going to keep trying. Oh, ask him one more time. He's on the cusp of sharing his secrets. I can feel it. Perfect. I Either feel way, like it. At least needling him is something to do. The secret. The narrator <laughs> ignores you. You can't no. just describe yourself ignoring us. I can. Secret. The narrator continues to ignore. Uh, but I. Oh, they took the thing away. I can't do it anymore. I get it. You don't want us to die because you'd be lonely. How sweet. Not like you, I'm not capable of being lonely. I don't know about that. Oh, sure you are. Give it some time without us, and I'm sure you'll start feeling lonely. Ignore the narrator back. That'll show him. Uh, but I got the best company in the world. Take the blade. I'm not a creature of biology. What about if I wait? More time passes. You're still here. Uh... Oh, you could do a lot better than us. Exactly. You'll be fine here. Just come up with a game or something to pass the time. Okay. Um... That's a grim thought, isn't it? But I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. Well, we don't know that, but... We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. Use it. More time passes. 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 Okay, so it seems like I don't have much of a choice here. here. You remove the blade from the princess's body. What exactly are you planning on doing with it? I'm gonna I'm gonna do some wood carving. There's lots of wood in here, so I can do that. Ow! 
I wasn't expecting that, but what happens if I do that? Oh no, what are you doing? You tighten your grip and fling the blade as hard as you can into the void. It's gone. Oh, now you're really stuck <laughs> what have I done? There's no way- You mean, other than starving? Right, I mean, other than that. You wait, and then you wait for a little while longer. But eventually the thirst sets in, and the hunger. The darkness of this place prevents you from wholly grasping the context of passing time, but that doesn't stop it from passing, nor does it stop your biology from unraveling. The only things you know for certain are that it's long, and that it hurts. The vastness of your suffering can't be adequately put into words. We really shouldn't have tossed the blade. No, you really shouldn't have, but biology and time are immutable forces, and eventually, long before forever gets the chance to come, everything goes dark, and you die. Don't muck it up next time. The princess may be slain here, but she isn't slain there. I'm, what the hell? I made it to chapter... There's a third chapter? You're on a path in the wood. Shit. This really doesn't end, does it? It doesn't matter if we kill her. It doesn't matter if she kills us. It just goes on and... Holy shit, guys. I made it to another chapter. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Uh, was not expecting that to happen. Yes. So it does. No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. What if we do what she asked us to last time? What if we just let her leave? Okay, so you've already been here. More than once, even. Great. So you probably already know all about her and all about the threat she poses to the world. Then let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends and everyone ends with it. Yourself included. Also, these spider webs are clearly good signs. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, with death, are we? And why should we be afraid of dying? We've already done it twice. Mm, we've done it far more times than that. All death has done is shunt us back to these woods where we're forced to listen to your empty warnings again and again. This place feels a bit different though, doesn't it? I don't even know what I'd call it, but it's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading, and the world has already started to end. Her influence? I really shouldn't have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. But now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your job, all right? Are you the same narrator we met in the other loops? Or are you quick to accept that we've been here before? We've been killed, uh, we've killed her and then been killed by her and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going to fall through this loop forever, eventually we're gonna have to let her out. She might as well do it now. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? What, what, that's the other option. That is a good point. Then she finds a way out on her own. So, standing around out here is the same Ooh, as us letting her. That explains a lot of things. She's an influencer. <laughs> it does, she Only is. She's definitely one it. of those. That's gotta be better, right? No, it's strictly worse. And why is that? Because it's cowardly for starters. And because the unknown is always worse than the known. Is it, but though? Really, all you're doing right now is weighing two considerably bad options. The only solution worth considering is slaying her, and whatever delusion is holding you back from doing that is just that. A delusion. If you already managed to end her in some other world, the only reason you'd be here is that you somehow managed to do it wrong. You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. 
But you're right, because a lot of times it doesn't. Voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't. And you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. Everyone is manipulating us, but we're starting to see the threads now. We just have to avoid getting tangled up in them. Suspiciously quick. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. Is that supposed to be a riddle? If it is, it's not very good. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which we are. the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. So yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. Okay, I'm not sure if that is explaining it, but fair I'm enough. Not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves. But he's asking for it. Hello, DRK Maybe underscore 76. can take care of him for me. No, no, thank you, buddy. Stream boo? That is, like, literally the worst one ever, dude. Nice try, though. Stream boo. I love it. I haven't had one of these in a while. That's, that's nice right there. They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. All right. You continue down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and I do. despite your protestation, probably figured out the mentioning you know those other sites are a good way to get automatically filtered. That's true. Oh yeah, true. But I like stream boo. That's I a don't good like one. Any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful inevitability. There must be something we're missing. Something that would make everything make sense. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. Got to call tonight. See you later days and hope you don't get into the preferable time multiverse forest. I already have Gecko. It's too late for me. But have a good night and Water. sleep well. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. Somebody's about to go cracky crack. Okay, are you trying to use reverse psychology me or have you just There's given up? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. They're all Honestly, you. It seems like Maybe me. I, I don't know. Into you, the more single minded they get, all right, guys. her out. We're gonna have so to figure yes, this out. I'm done trying to walk you. All right, here's the thing. So I either have to kill her or I have to let her out. So part of me thinks I should kill her. The other part of me thinks I should let her out. I'm probably gonna say we should murder her, stab her in the back, and then just like twist the knife until she's dead. But I could also let her go and maybe let her free. And then maybe that's the best plan because maybe it'll stop the whole problem here. But no, nah, murdering her sounds good. I feel like taking, like, getting the blood all over my hands and just destroying her, and just like at the end, and just stab, stab, stab. But I'm a really compassionate person. I really just want to let her go. Anyway, let's move forward. Look at that. We won. A <laughs> stabby stabber. Take it however you will. Or you could give me that 350. I can't give you that 350. Oh, the that's good. Dark, a single narrow hallway stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, uh... and joining and driving everything forward. That's weird. That's a little weird. The only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's Wait, strange. are you going to say it's there? Is he about to say it's there More now? Strange. Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside but from the curtains. You don't see it's that? It's supposed to be a pristine blade. 
Why isn't there a pristine blade? No pristine blade? Of course there isn't a mirror. There wasn't one last time either, so why would it be there this time? Let her meet Mr. Stabby Stab? I might. I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? It might. It might matter. Let's pretend... Let's pretend there is a mirror at the end of the hallway, and that right now, we can't see behind it. What's there behind it? If you're asking what's at the end of the hallway, it's the way to the basement. Are you saying there isn't a door? Are you saying that at the end of the hallway, there's just an opening again? He didn't say door, did he? No, I didn't say door, because there isn't a door, it's just an opening. This is weird. Something's very different. It's just like last time, isn't it? Only instead of a visible empty void, there's an invisible one. For all we know, she could be standing right there behind the mirror. For all we know, she's going to jump out at us and there's nothing we can do to stop her. Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you. And certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. Is she, though? All right, I'm going to approach the mirror. You slowly make your way towards the gaping moor that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward. Oh, my hackles are raising. End of the hallway. My hackles are you so raised. You're being watched. My hackles are about as tall as the ceiling at this point. Oh, do we? Do we feel like we're being watched? I hadn't noticed. At least you're admitting to it now. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway. I no. presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Is this gonna do anything? I hate that I know what's about to happen. Knowing makes it so much worse. You reach your heart oh. forward into the pitch black of the opening. Oh. oh, that was a close one. All that stress and lead up for nothing. I was really thinking maybe the mirror might do something different that time, but it didn't. Hopelessly staring into the void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Hi, it's good to hear from you. How are you doing? Where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Oh no, I don't like that. Standing in muted shock. Is it three fifty? It might be. Frozen moment. Mm. And then it, she, the princess, constricts your bones. Oh, snap. I hate that sound. Icy pain oh, radiates no. up from the brain. A deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse. Oh no. Harder mommy. Oh god. Uh, oh, that's not good. The princess. You look so good. Look at you. You look so good. Have you been working out? Crowded with far. Why do I have weird claw feet? Oh, look at you. That's that that uh, I'll be fine. I'll put some ice on it. I'm going to be fine. You look so good. You killed me last time, and that was after you tried to lock me away forever. Yep. So, so close to freedom, but then you took my body away from me. It looks like you found one, though. So now I'm going to take yours, and I'm going to walk it out of here. Okay, but you broke my foot, so walking's going to be kind of tough right now. And ah. you, <laughs> you get to watch me do it, completely helpless. Just like you left me. Yeah. Maybe letting her in isn't the best idea. She clearly hates us. And what's your point? I thought you were out of here. This is mm. a way out. And it's different. We might as well take it. Yeah, but not like this. She's going to make it She's hurt. already made it hurt. There's nothing we could do about that. That's not the way that's supposed to go. And turn off the part of you that feels things. Uh, that's oh, easier said than done. Easy. Yeah. It is. Pain is just another sensation. If you can tolerate joy, you can tolerate pain. Oh, hell Except yeah! The pain hurts. Yes, that's what it does. That's the definition. Good point. Do we need to explain to you why pain is bad? Apparently we do, because he's not getting it. Yourself, why it isn't. 
I thought you uh, couldn't possess me on your own. I thought I needed to agree to it. Now is that. This is now. Okay. I got your nose. Oh, God. Uh, look, we're even now. You killed me, and then I killed you. We're under the bridge, right? Water under the bridge, right? I think you forgot something. Like the part where all this started when you left me to languish in a pit all by myself. Now it becomes something so much worse. And it's all thanks to you. See? I helped you. It was it was all part of the plan. I don't just want to get it over with. You lost your chance to call the shots. There's no going back to fix it now. You can either look on in horror or celebrate my freedom. But either way, you're about to become a passenger. Enough talking. We'll have plenty of time for chit chat once this place is far behind us. Oh, no, I don't like that. I don't like that even a little bit. The princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong. Limbs bent and curling. <laughs> in ways this is so gross. Your understanding. Ah, oh, no, play, no, lady, please. Personal space, okay? As she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Getting out of my, getting out of my personal bubble here, okay? This is not, oh, the not okay. Um. A classic response that leaves much to the imagination. Perhaps pondering the intricacies of the game or simply lost in thought. She's in just case, your personal um, space invader. Adds a she is now. And contemplation to the conversation. God. Let us continue our journey through the game together. She's going to be inside us. Ooh, ooh indeed. You sure you can't do anything to help us? Oh, can't you dear like Thanis, always with the interesting thoughts. I guess we're getting a taste of some dubious consent with a side of ooh, ooh today. The mysteries of the stream chat, never a dull moment. Heh <laughs> heh crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Not like this. Not like that. Like this? No, see, we're on the same page. You don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. <laughs> Dubious consent. This is fine. Ugh. This is fine. It is not fine. Is it? Is there No, probably not. This doesn't seem right to fine. me. Yeah, I'm right. This is fine. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. Uh, that's one way to look at it, I guess, if you're... Everything because everything's fine. fine. These consequences have no real impact on us outside of momentary discomfort. I'm sure we'll be moving on again soon enough. Your oh, God. She tears open the membrane of your soul. Does my soul have a membrane? I wasn't aware of that. No. Okay. No, Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. So cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. Uh, don't like I that know. sound. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. It's rather rude to show up in somebody else's body and boss it around like this. That is pretty rude. <laughs> In fairness, you did kill me previously to this, we so... We are gonna let you out of here. That's the whole reason we marched all the way back up to the cabin. Were we? I was. <laughs> so rude. Does it matter? And what reasons are those supposed to be? Nobody should be able to be judge, jury, and executioner. Well, true, but I, what we're saying is you can't do that, not me, okay? It's only you. I gotta pass uh, the F out. Peace, y'all. All right, have a good night, Crispy. Thanks for stopping by and appreciate it. We weren't always like this. We, I. Good luck being a bird person. I will do my best. 
It's not going well right now, but you know. I don't have to let her out. I've been storing up a little bit of will since she forced her way in here. Take it and throw us all into the basement. It's better than giving her what she wants. Your body. Oh my God. Uh, trapped between why is she speaking through a towel? Will I think that's like representative of her being cabin. like inside my soul space or something. The cabin door. The movement is stiff. Your body reduced to a marionette, pulled reluctantly along by your strings. I'm gonna do it. In a single moment of overwhelming willpower, you tear your body from the wall and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. Capillaries burst and muscle fibers tear as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends, and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, but fortunately for you, the distance you have to cover is far shorter. We're putting in everything we have. You're not. You're thinking too much about how she's hurting us. You're thinking too much about your body. It's just a body. Yes, it's just a body now. But I need you so many terrible things to you. One, two, three. One, two, three. Next one we all go. One, two, three. Ooh. Throw everything you have against her and manage for one brief moment to overpower the princess's hold on your body. But that moment was all you needed. Your foot slips a few inches, and you collapse forward, the darkness swallowing you whole. I don't. I don't hate you. Her thought slips. I really don't hate you. I don't know that much about you. And fall. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny joke joke now. <laughs> we did it. We did. We I think. Really I don't think this qualifies as saving, but at least you didn't ruin it. You know, I did the best I could. What happens now? I don't know. <laughs> An amused chuckle, a playful jest, a moment of shared mirth. Laughter is the spice of life, after all. I know Let's revel in the joy of the game and the banter that follows. Hey, 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 indeed. Why? What do you know that you're not telling us? Hey, bye. Terminal velocity ceases and you feel uh, something, a mass, a growth, torn out of you. You and the princess look at each other for a short moment. What? What is happening? Nerd bird, indeed. Oh, this thing again. She's caught. Cool. And there's that mirror again. Why is it? This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different, final. It's calling us, and not in a good way. Ignore the cowards. You have. I will. Voice from feel small from a distance as you approach. I'm a little less goopy. You've unraveled, but I'm a little less goopy. And so that's good. Feeling a little bit less goopy. You know what I mean? Oh, you've never looked better. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. Do you think there are people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are frail and impermanent. You and I are the only things <laughs> that interest me. 
Do you think that anything out there is real or out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. You have thoughts on this vessel? This one is loneliness turned to seething. Listen, she only the cool kids join the conspiracy on Discord. Another, so, I can so see why you're not there. Herself. Just saying. She will make for a driven heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? No. The point of awakening is to find out. Fair, I guess. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else I call him. The narrator. And he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their minds are empty. Existent but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? He does. I don't know why, but I know this is a fact. I am on the cusp of my awakening. Perhaps you are on the cusp of yours. How many more vessels do I need? One. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. Holy shit. Gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Huh. If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. If this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. You've already tried waiting, but I understand if you need more time. I'll wait with you. So, all right, hold on. I think, guys, this is where we're going to have to stop for today. Uh, I want to give us a chance to get into the ending, and then I want to do another episode of this so we can kind of try to explore what other things might be here, because that was fascinating. This this game is so fascinating to me. And uh, I'm, this is, I mean, this game is just freaking wild. I don't even know what to make of this. Um, but we're going to come back to this next week and we're going to give this another shot and see what the, where this ends. And then we're also going to see like what other things can be done with it. I'm going to try and see if there's anything else we can do. Uh, I'll put out like a, I'll have a plan for like a second game in case this, you know, doesn't take very long. Uh, but I think this is a good spot. So, oh, goodness me, goodness me, goodness me. That, that, oh. Wow, that was a hell of a hell of a thing there. But anyway, I want to say thank you to everybody who stopped by today. That was so much fun. Uh, This was a really cool game. I was really happy with this. Um, And yeah, uh, Super Snack Bro, this is a really fun, interesting game. Uh, I now know there is another game we can go try that's by the same developers. A lot of people are really interested in it. Uh, So we'll see what that's like if we need to uh, down the road. But um, yeah, I think for the rest of the night, I'm going to send you guys over to Dark Scintilla. Um, If you guys haven't been, if you are new to the stream and you haven't followed yet, feel free, you know, feel like, you know, you're welcome to do so. We always really enjoy the uh, support and love and everything happens there. Uh, We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, We're going to be playing Sea of Thieves with uh, Demon Otter Games and James or C. James Fox. And we're going to be out there on the high seas. Uh, doing piratey things. So I'm really excited about that as well. Um, But yeah, so I will see you guys next time. And until then, give Dark Dark some love. Give Dark the Leem the Streams welcome. 
and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.